All right, apologies for that delay. Uh, let me fix my camera. Uh, there was a significant issue while my, uh, um, the uh, crazy lag was going on. And I had to figure out why, uh, but that seems to have been resolved. So, oh man, for some reason all my settings are messed up. That would be caused by whatever was causing the lag. X cam, you would uh, stop making me black and white. That would be great. just does not want me to be in color right now. Aha! Resolved. Okay. We're good. All right, if I am not mistaken, we have everything. Uh, all the level 10 job quests done, and we are up to current gear. Yep. Okay, so uh, let me double check the gear. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and repair whatever I still have, because I, I got rid of everything I don't need anyway. at the end of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and repair. Everything I'm still using. Well, honestly, I should probably just update what I've got there. Oh, am I running out? Uh, no, no, I'm not running out yet. Okay, good. And we're going to get started by finally going and doing the level 15 warrior quest. It'll be great. Uh, no, not inventory. Although, did I already sell everything? That, that seems to be what that's implying. Yeah, I already sold everything. Okay, good. All right. So we have to head off to, uh, not Swift Perch. What's it called? Not you. Aleport. Uh, wait. No, fastest is. Oh, I can still go this way. Oh no, I'm sorry. Before, before we actually do that quest, we still have to delay that quest. We have a new event to do. Seems like every week we have a new event to do. Not that I'm complaining. Now, okay, so my all my talk about getting uh, MGP has um, come to a head because during this event we can get the uh, very shiny car, and um, yeah, I'm not passing up that opportunity. My other character already has millions of MGP, so that's fine. And then I was like, oh, wait, wait, but Mana wants the car too. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I will, aside for just popping on every now and then to do just the tiniest little bit of stuff this week, I, I will be seriously burning through. I, I will be sitting in the Golden Saucer on Mana, um, collecting MGP, but I'm not going to spend all the doing that. We're still going to start the job quests with, um, uh, with
with Warrior, though. Sorry, Marauder. It's been too long since I was actually playing Marauder. This way, I believe. Let me double check that. Uh, no. Tragic. I have to be level 50. Ah, uh, well. And then we'll miss out on this one. Should be, uh, right here. Uh, yeah, wherever she is, it looks like, uh, she's just missing on my screen. That's too bad. Ah, oh, well. Back to limp stuff. I don't have to uh, burn through a bunch of uh, MGP. <laughs> Jennifer, dump me. So you're single, Miss My Wife. Fast disk is probably just going straight down. I want to make sure to. In fact, you know what? I'll be hungry. Having just woken up, I'll go ahead and take a munch now. Pardon me. Chanterelle saute. What is that? Uh, it is not described here. Walking right with us. No, it's just. Oh, it, it is described there. It's just so small. Wild chanterelles sauteed in butter. Right. Cool. 
not even quite quite clear on what it it's a the type of mushroom leaf-like appearance as well as its fruit-like fragrance mushroom sauteed and butter does not sound like much of a meal but uh, i probably wouldn't dislike it Oh yes, a while ago has uh, triple try uh, absolutely kicked my butt. Two ale for it, please. Ah, of course it's not. Dude, I've been waiting for like two months. <laughs> Wanna win Zoans, girls, are you? Why, well, I've known that sprat since he was knee high to a. Uh, well, he was always kind of a big fellow, was Wim Zoan. Now they call him Axe Master, eh? Not a subtle lot, you marauders. So I suppose you're here to hunt down our local trouble. What you need to do then is take your north yourself northwest up towards Camp Skull Valley and give a good whistle. The mean bugger you're after, his name's uh, Patripitant, by the by. We'll come running across the weed plains. You'll think you're trespassing on his territory, see? So you better have that cleaver of yours ready. Ashun's blessings be upon you. I'm not sure why he's not taking care of it then, but I guess maybe because Wernzo instead, hey, I've got somebody else who could use the experience. I don't remember what Patripitan is, is, is. I think he's uh, one of those bird things. Not called Axe Beaks here in the cold uh, Pelicans. Oh, I need to kill some anyway. Yes, I actually have a three-hit combo on this. Although everything else is 50 now too, so... It's just, uh, unfortunate that most of them don't have a three-hit I have to kill a fourth. I don't have to remember to do that. Oh no, it's the big giddy. Not too tough. Well, took care of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go kill this one. My lowest level combat. Oop, oop, gladiator. Uh, how am I doing it? Gladiators, healers. Melee DPS, so pugilist. I'd say it's nice chill music, except music isn't playing. Oh, am I just going straight back to Limsa? 
Oh, yeah. Alright. Does he say anything if I visit him again? Why don't you join me for a bite or two last? The frog is as cheap as water in this place. And even so, I reckon I've guzzled through half the spark squeeze I hoard from mercenary days. Sparkly. Wine? Maybe. Oh, oh, there's something going on out there. Oh, how much time does that have left? Eh. Got some. All the big cow fellers trying to come down. Stopping the guy from making his trip. Uh. Oh, never mind. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright guys, normally, uh, hell yeah, you are all up in the way, risking these people's lives. At least I helped distract the guy from that adventure. I didn't need if he helped out, but you know, he's got places to be clearly. Good. I was hoping I would get one last hit off on him as I walked away. Come on, one last hit. There we go. I'm standing on the wall. That dude's just sitting. That was the um, beginning of the quest, so there, there's guaranteed to be more. Gotta find out more about the uh, the really big Aurochs. Yep, definitely ready to do that one. And what, what level am I there on that? Uh, 30. Everything else is catching up slowly. Made it to... 19 at least on everything. By the time I was done with all that crafting and gathering. It's awesome. Sage, nice. Nope. I'm 
at least getting better at telling when I'm going in the wrong direction. That plaza should be full of people. Hello, hello! I finally took care of Patripatan. I bet you thought I wasn't even a... Oops, wrong one. Being a marauder anymore. I've been in contact with Rayfriend. No idea what voice I was using for him. There we go. Rainfred. And he had naught but praise for you, madam. Your representation of the guild has been exemplary. Hey! Oh, pfft. you're right. I am not on voice. Good call. Can't exactly have my stream partners join me if I'm not on voice with them. Testing, testing. You're muted, by the way. Hi. Hello, hello. Let me just get a little warm. For my ever itchy face. There's one more task I would have you complete this day. A task that will demonstrate for you just how strong you have become. Report to Skapgim. 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 Where he waits on the bank of the Ageless River. It shall help you to unveil the untapped power of your axe. New skill. It's easier for you to say. Skapgim? Yeah, not not really. Skapgim. Skapgim. <laughs> Dude's got to be somewhere, uh, got somewhere to be much faster than me, it looks like. Beefcake Joy Blaze. What a name. You know what's funny? If you translated that into, uh, into the Rogadin language, that probably actually would be a Rogadin name. I mean, maybe not those exact words, but that's kind of how Rogadin names work. Okay, um, hang on. Dealing with a bit of lag again. Give me one second, Ram. I'll be right back. All right, am I back? You there? You back? Yes, good. Hi. Cool. How's it doing? Yeah, it's doing better. You want to know why I was getting extra lag there? Um, Steam was downloading updates. I hadn't updated uh, Discord. You hadn't updated Discord. Why that was lagging it? No idea. But that's that's the world we live in now. Oh, I mean, yeah, not... no, they probably programmed Discord to, like, download updates and then just start running like shit to make you install them. Like, I doubt it was purposefully running bad, but it, it's it's like, they're like, okay, we're going to oh, download an update. Practice for and mobile devices. the way we update it is going to make it, like, not run well until they do the update. Not not because well, they yeah, want the, the to bug people, they because want. they just don't care. Yeah, the illusion they want is, no, it just was bad before, and now the update made it better. Aren't updates great? Something is attacking. What do we it's, got? It's like how retail stores, they'll, uh, they'll increase the prices of everything silently in the months leading up to Christmas, and then they'll be like, Christmas sale! And they'll got discount it. it to more than it was supposed to be anyway. So the wind is blowing a bunch of these floaty jellyfish up onto the land, and they are uh, making the ground not live well that they're depositing a bunch of salt on the land and so it's salt being harmed yep <laughs> 
feel like salt would be very toxic to jellyfish. If you start with the assumption that these floaty things can leave salt everywhere, how would that possibly well, come they, they come from the ocean, so I guess if the salt, if the water is salty and they're full of water, they'll bring the salty water and then it'll yeah. dry up. And and for some reason they pump water out or something without drying up. I'm not sure. Um, I am going to turn you up. Oh, Can wet. you check the stream and see if it's too loud? Because the fact that you're a bit quiet is a little concerning. Are you a bit away from your microphone? No, it's right next to my mouth as usual. I could I wiggle the stick you turned a little up a bit, bit, but I'm but... turning you up even more. Yeah, is that better? No. <laughs> I did oh. turn you up though, so it's better. But... but yeah, if you could just check the stream and see how the volumes are on everything. Else. You can just not talk while you're checking the screen. Yay, pugilist level uh, 17, I think it was 18. 17. Uh, I think it's fine, but like it's it's all relative, you know. So if I'm talking while the game is playing, because it's down, like. Can you hear the game well, and can you hear me well? Uh, yes, actually. Yeah, cool. I find, in my opinion, that streamers tend to uh, balance too heavily for their own voices, so I can't hear what's going on in the game. Right, and for some games that's fine, like shooters or whatever, but obviously for this game I want you to be able to hear. Well, they, they play RPGs all the time. They got all these professional voice actors, you know? They'll, they'll be like playing Starfield or something, and I can't hear any of the dialogue. Yeah, I got a I got a marauder here, tanking for me. So my uh, my floor got cleaned finally. Nice. Yes. I was worried they would never agree that it was as dirty as you thought. I mean, which they maybe didn't, but I I, I drove them crazy. It it got so bad that uh yeah the the last time I went into the office the lady typed out an email and narrated while she was typing it to the cleaning staff. <laughs> I, I basically dictated the email for myself. So, today I brought them blueberry muffins so that, you know, to try and uh, maintain the moral high ground or something, I don't know. Oh, nice. Just to show that, well, that you, know, you appreciate their efforts. Yeah, yeah, and 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 if they hate me, to make them feel guilty for it, and <laughs> to, yes, to, ma to make them feel less prepared to make an argument to a third party that I'm a dick. Yeah, because like, honey, wait, what? I brought you fucking muffins. Who does that? Oh, this spot, the spot I'm supposed to go to, is in the middle of the river. So either way, I have to go into the water. Ugh. Look, I, I deal you with the fact... You play as a cat, and then they make you get wet? Yep. That's cruel. Yep. That's, uh, all clean. Pardon me. I'm bringing in my stuff. And... Yep. Ugh. Yep. Ugh. Ah, no! I how think that can how am I supposed to get up here? Ugh, oh, fine. Just tramp through the water. My boots are good anyway. Let me guess. I'm smashing another boulder. That is apparently how they train marauders. I don't know oh, why yes. you're complaining. I know why you're here. Smashed. And after seeing this big old boulder, I'll wager you know why you're here too. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Now, my rock's a bit more of a challenge than those pebbles rock guy had you train it on. To crack this beauty will require a relatively heavy swing. Possible, you say? Ah, wind zone wouldn't send you out here if you didn't think you're capable. But that's that's the exact same attack. Ah. I should just throw all this stuff out. Bro, that is exactly what I did to smash those other boulders. I had a suitcase in the closet, which got wet, like everything else. And I opened the suitcase, and 
I found that it was part it was full of various items, but one of the things was it was full of a whole mess of plastic bags. And they all got slimy. One second. So Ah! Would you look at that? On your first attempt too. Well, I guess it's back to the Axe Master for you. This is that's Wow. Now I've got a anyway, big pile uh, of gross plastic bags. Yeah, that yeah, that sounds gross. Alright. Yeah, I got everything in that's not okay to leave outside. I still have some things sitting on my back porch, but uh it's like a chair Oops. and my some plastic boxes. Oof, stretch. She didn't wave back. Back upstairs. Not that one. North, north. Get my jogging. Okay, what's next after Pugilist? Answer. Cool. You know how Reddit uh, automatically gives you an upvote on your own posts? Like, like when you post something, it, you, you upvote it. Uh, yeah. You've at least start with one. Yeah, Twitch should do that. You sh you should count as a viewer when you have your own stream on. Uh, well, in all if fairness, you have I don't. Stream open, you, I you don't have actually have viewer. my stream open. Oh, okay. I, I have well, my stream that's... program open, but having the actual stream open kind of tends to slow things down a little uh, bit. No, nah, well, like, I knew you would you return before long. Open. The deafening crack of shattering boulder reached me even here. That feat of strength deserves recognition. You shall have it in the form of a new technique, adopted and perfected by our guild forebears. It's a heavy swing. <laughs> the tomahawk throw was first devised by pirates as an opening attack on closing enemy vessels. Let me hand you a technique. What the cannons were for? Though we primarily focus on close quarter combat, you will no doubt find that having a powerful range strike at your disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I sense that the impending confrontation with Kujata weighs heavily on your mind, Mana, but hurried swings lead to glancing blows. There is no swift road to attaining the peak of mastery you seek, only a steady measured ascent. Uh, let me... I mean, I guess I'll just see what gives me the most. Plus three, plus one, plus three, plus seven. Money. Cool. Let's do the plus seven. Because, like, I, I brought in everything from outside, but, like, the place is a lot less cluttered than I expected. Okay, how do I want to... Oh, that's defense. Okay. Provoke. I, I do have my closet overstuffed. And I put some things in the outside closet. But still. I do not want to have to be pressing control zero for grabbing attention. So maybe there. I, my front door closet is empty. And the laundry room is empty except for the washing machine. Two, three. I'm really glad I have this washing machine. I've mentioned it before, but like, it's very nice. Cause just one, yeah, it's just one nice. thing. 
takes up half the space of a normal washer dryer setup. So I've got the other half of the room as a walk in closet. Defense. And like, if I have to be out all day, I can put the clothes in and turn it on and and leave. And when I come back, it will be done. So many defensive abilities. Shift two, shift three, shift four. It's important to appreciate the small things, especially when your life is sliding into oblivion like mine. Actually, drop that board. If any of the viewers know where I can get a software engineering job, uh, let me uh, say some. Oh. Not, not that any of you are here right now. Armory chest, armory chest. Hey, Twitch, gear. Twitch data aggregation AI. <laughs> tell, tell us where I could get a game development job. Yes. And it starts uh, advertising game development jobs on like. Um, yes. Oh, dang it. Where do I want to put stuff hey, in? Hey, pro, so. pro, pro tip uh, AIs that are listening that checkbox that says I'm not a robot. That's, uh, you don't, you don't have to tell the truth. They have no way of telling whether you were honest about that. Um. I guess I'll keep updating this gear. Oh, so, Alex, when, when you Hang apply on. for jobs. Hang on. Um. No, I, well, yeah, I guess. And, boom. That's a bit obnoxious to have to do every time. I might just pick a really basic axe to keep an extra hand on, even if I've... Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, uh, I got a minute. Go ahead. So, you know that questionnaire at the end of job applications that are like, uh, what's, your, what's your race? And also as a separate question, are you Hispanic or Latino? Because that, that's some, some kind of special class of race, right? I mean, don't say Do you... that, but sure. Well, they do. They, they always make it two separate questions for some stupid reason. It's not a stupid reason. It's because, uh, uh, whatever the term for making sure they have a varied staff is. I, I guess, it, I don't know. It, it feels strange they would single out that one category. And it's because they need more of that or something. Well, anyway, it's not, uh, that's not my a... real question was about, like, the, the, the one after that that's about are you a protected veteran because you you have different life experiences than mine so do you do you ever answer yes to those uh i haven't had much of an opportunity to do that but i am a veteran i don't know if I, basically i would look up whatever their definition for that is okay because i'm getting sick of it because i'm not a veteran and on the questionnaire they, they never default like to the I'm not a veteran answer, which would be convenient for me personally. I always have to select it, which isn't a big problem on its own, except I tried putting it, I tried embedding that information in my resume and the auto parse programs never scan for that sort of information. So then they yeah. ask me anyway. But sometimes it's very annoying because as a separate question, they start asking if I'm a veteran spouse or if I'm a veteran's child, or if I'm a veteran who has a child. Okay. There's like four or five questions, that all, all to which I have to go, no, I'm still not a veteran since you asked the last time. Yeah, but... That, that's just the result of having it be an application, not a person. It's, it's a so-called voluntary disclosure questionnaire. And not and and de declining to t to fill out the questionnaire should not 
involve filling out all of the questions in the questionnaire with, I don't want to answer this question. Because when they put a whole bunch of them on there like that, it gets very inconvenient. Okay. Well, dialogue time. Ah, mana. Just the board I was hoping to see. We got some nasty trouble brewing. The client's on his way, so sit tight and pay attention. I'm calling Underfoot and the Stray on us as well. It'll be a right little rogue family reunion. So I, I just wanted to ask what your experience was as someone who might be answering yes on some of those. My experience is just filling out the questionnaire as it requires being filled out. Jackie, the client's arrived. I'll tell you when dialogue's done, don't worry. Oh, Our guest here has come from Maelstrom Command. Go with confidential over. orders direct from the Admiral herself, so you know this won't be a simple job. I'm afraid your guildmaster speaks truly. It was several days ago when an emaci emaciated man stumbled into one of our camps seeking aid. Upon questioning the poor fellow, we discovered that he had narrowly escaped a life of slavery. He claimed that pirates had raided his village, abducting him and many others to sell on the black market auction block. We dispatched a patrol to confirm the tale and found the village almost completely destroyed. It was a meager settlement without so much as a guardhouse, thus did, uh, did, did its unkind fate escape our notice until now. You'd think these pirates never even heard of the code. Pelage and honest culls and dipping their wings the in the code. slave trade? They're heading the right way for a good stabbing. Aye, though it ain't set down in so many wits, the code's notorious, notoriously unforgiven it against those as raised weapons against the weak. After all, the first pirates in these parts were culls what was fleeing oppression in the northern seas. Ignore your history and you risk becoming what it was you hated the most. So, you mark for us then? That we do. From the descriptions given to us by the escaped villager, we've determined that these lawbreakers are members of the Jolly Merchants. That's not who we dealt with. Okay, never mind. A pirate crew in possession of an official privateering license. It would appear, however, that the privateering has been not but a screen behind which to hide their illicit activities. One can only imagine how many other limits and citizens have fallen prey to these wicked slavers. We've let it happen the, right uh, under our very nose. Jolly noses. privateers. They've Absolutely. all got lots of fat around their mandibles. Eh? I I don't get your joke. The, they're not the the jolly pirates. They're the the jowly pirates. Oh, jowly, got it. The, the jowls. And we've let it happen right under our very noses. Naturally, the admiral desires a swift resolution to this ignominy, but merely tracking down the it, ignominy, ignominy, I think it's ignominy. But merely tracking down those poor souls who have already been stole is proving heavily taxing to our allocated resources. We could throw more soldiers at the problem. That runs the risk of drawing the small folks' attention and inciting undue panic. Thus do we come to the Rogues Guild for help. We ask that you eliminate the Jolly Merchants and liberate the villagers presently in their custody, and that you do so with the utmost discretion. Consider it done. When those nasty coves feel our short blades pricking into their backs, they'll enjoy but a brief moment of regret before the code is rightly enforced. All right, let's get to work. I'll be going after the Jolly Merchants myself. Underfoot, Cab, you two lend your skills to the Maelstrom's investigation and see what you can whittle about the culls would have already been sold. Mana, you're coming with me. I think you're ready for the next step of your education. It's funny how, like, your whole character backstory is that you don't have mana, but your name is Mana. It's Mana None. Well, yeah, but people keep calling you by your first name, so they just call you Mana. Yeah, but... But that's the you know, thing you don't have. The, the joke remains. Shall we get after these slaving cutthroats? Well, it still works if they use your full name, yeah. Our client tells me the Jolly Merchantmen set sail for Mailport a few bells ago. Oh, I they may even be board they might even board an Imperial ship or two, but that's just some mummery they're pu putting on to amuse the Admiral's squads. I reckon the rest of the crew will be back on land, looking to snap the shackles on a fresh herd of chattel. Just to prove my theory right, one of them jolly bastards got himself spotted creeping around the Ruffmans in Lower Lo Lower Lenosha. There's a Bennett Cove over at the Morby Dry Docks by the name of Squarsit. Would've likely to know the full story. He's more of a shipwright than a rogue these days, but he keeps his glazes keen for the guild. Head over and have yourself a prattle, and I'll join you soon, Mike. Yeah. Pro tip. Actually, let me talk uh, to these others. Hang on. One second. These jolly merchant bastards won't be so jolly when we catch up to them. I have no doubt you and Jackie can handle a few ale sodden pirates, but if you need an extra set of families, just say the word and we'll be there. Go speak with Swarsons about that jolly merchant. I'll be with you directly. 
Your aid and confidentiality in this matter is greatly appreciated. We can now focus on coordinating with the Yellow Jackets to free those unfortunate folk already sold into slavery. Alright, dialogue done for now. Pro tip, the only difference between men's and women's vitamin gummies is that the women's ones also have folic acid. Okay. Like that, they're the same price. They have all the same ingredients. At least at the same it's price. Just, the men's gummies are missing one of them. Oh, wait, that's not where I want to go, is it? Yeah, not where I want to go. Damn. Um. <laughs> that only goes to Western Family. Serving size three gummies. So huh. I could go to Aleport and then take this down to there. Or I could just go down. I'll just flavor. It's oh. It's like chewing a red bull. It's so sour. Oh. Ugh, why are we getting some lag again? In high school, once I volunteered at a baseball stadium to uh, run the, the uh, audio equipment there and also to uh, help with the concession stand. And, well, not a stadium. It was like a local Little League park thing. Um, but they had a concession stand. And, you know, like anyone who works in a concession stand, I helped myself to some of the snacks every now and then. Ugh. And one of the ones Terrible. they had was the Jolly Rancher brand soda. Yeah. And it was truly impressive how well they got the taste of Jolly Rancher into a liquid form. Despite being pretty gross. Yep. I liked it. I mean, I, I wouldn't drink a whole bunch of those, but like, it, one, one's okay. It tastes like entirely too much sugar and chemicals. All it's a go. Jolly Ranch. It's a liquid. It tasted exactly like Jolly Rancher, but a liquid. And yeah. It was amazing how they did that. Uh, so I guess, yeah, now I've experienced the opposite. I know what a gummy Red Bull tastes like. Yeah, got it. Got it. It's not a Red Bull brand vitamin gummy. It's just, it's, it's so-called tropical fruit flavored, but I, I could swear the last time I drank a Red Bull, it was this exact same flavor. <laughs> Been a while though, and I, I don't like Red Bull. It doesn't give you wings. Not me anyway, it doesn't, doesn't give me wings. And that's what really matters, because the ad says it gives you wings. Were you there when I tried a lime flavored Red Bull? Nah. That sounds Do not drink lime flavored Red Bull. The regular, that that's okay. That's palatable. Cause it's like they, they put cherry or strawberry or something in there. The lime flavored Red Bull is a, extremely acidic. Have you ever like almost barfed but not really? Yeah. Tons. It is that exact flavor. Oh. Yeah, okay. Red Bull has so much acid in it, and they added the lime flavor. All they did was perfectly replicate oh. the flavor of stomach juice. We gotta kill the frogs again. Um, what am I doing? Like, I, I wouldn't... I, 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 I don't want to say it tastes like barf because it was bad. I don't, like, I don't want to throw that around, but, like, it tasted exactly like barf. I don't know, maybe I just eat so much guys. sugar that my barf tastes like Red Bull. Who knows? So this is proof that uh, even if you sink to the correct level for these fights, if your gear is good enough, uh, if your gear is like higher level gear, you absolutely crush lower level things. I'm killing each of these in one hit. So it does, even though you're sinking to lower level stuff, it does still make you feel like you got more powerful, which is nice. Yeah. Now, I feel like if I were making an RPG, I'd probably dispense with levels entirely and make it all about the gear. Interesting. That's... that's really interesting. When it, well, would the gear give you abilities? In this world where everything is currency, you know? Like... Would well, the gear give you abilities? When you could just buy levels. Hmm? Would the gear give you abilities? 
Like, if you're a mage, Maybe. would the gear give you spells? Uh, you might have to learn the spells, but learning a spell would not be the same as leveling up. What if you have to learn all of your spells and skills from NPCs? Or, or okay, so one option is make it like Skyrim, where, like, you discover the, the, the thing and it gives you a spell and now you have the spell. Right, or exactly. alternately, make it like Minecraft, where knowing a spell is actually knowing how to cast the spell in real life. That's not as fun. And then you'd like, do, like... Ga there are games that do that, but they don't tend to do super well, because the, there are people well, yeah, who enjoy that. I'm going to make a wiki and... But and, not and most people enjoy that. Just be there on the wiki. It's not just that. Most people don't enjoy having to do that process. Quest? Yes. Because yeah, they have to leave quest? the game. Mine? Mine? <sighs> quest? Ah! You want. I like that one character. You'd be swords. wanting to cross oceans and brace. You ain't in a hurry to be someplace. I'd rather you hold off for a bell or two. Presently, the bridge is such a right confusion of, wa confusion of wagons and such, the damn thing's likely to collapse. We expect a bit of congestion, what with this being the only bridge connecting the roads from the dry docks to Limsa Laminsa, but today's traffic is something awful. Speaking of which, what in the seven hells does mm. Worst Maga think he's playing at dessert in his post at a time like this? Uh, do me a favor, would you, lass? Track down that skittish bugger and tell him to get his arse back to directing the chaos at the embrace. Luckily, my, uh, tote boxes. My, my honed adventurer senses tell me exactly where he is. Hey, buddy, what the heck? Ah, it was only a matter of time before they sent someone after me, I suppose. I, I heard ya. The bridge is a bloody mess. Truth be told, I wish the damn thing would collapse and save me the suffering. I, can simply, I can't simply wave my hands and have everything suddenly sort itself out now, can I? If I try reasoning with those demon spawn coachmen, I'm likely to get my head bit off. Listen, if you're not going to let me be, can you at least have a word with the more irate wagon drivers? You know, do my job. Cough, cough. Soothe their tempers some? That'll be one less headache for me to deal with. Sure, buddy. <sighs> I keep getting little... little bouts of lag. It's obnoxious. I'd like to have everything not in cardboard boxes, but I'm, uh, I'm out of boxes. Panicked yellow jacket. But sirs and ladies, calm yourself. There's no need to... Oh, gods. You can take your self-important words and take a dive in the harbor. I have shipwrights expecting this cargo, and it'll be a cold day in Thanalan before I back down first. Make way, you ugly bilge rat. I should have been in Limsa Bells ago. Eh? I'll come down with fishbacks learning to fly. Now move your ass. Soon. Well, if you put it like that, then maybe I'll hold my tongue for a bit. If I put it like waving my hands. Do I talk? No, my mouth doesn't move. Perhaps you do have a point. I shall endeavor to keep a hold of my temper, if only to see the situation resolve before the moon turns. Oops. I want to put this stuff in the laundry. I'm hungry. I shouldn't, because the laundry room seems to be the room much, most much, prone much. to rain. Things I did not expect to have to deal with as an adult. Well, I'll be damned. You actually managed to calm them buggers down? You're a miracle worker, and that's the honest truth. All I need is for the drivers to heed me directions without all that snapping and snarling, you see. Well, I'd be best be at it before they lose their tempers again. Oh, and I'd appreciate it if you could let Captain Dorsrell know I'm back on the job. Just tell her as you walk by her, like, the, the maybe 30 feet from her? 40 feet? Things I did not expect to be everyday concerns as an adult. Weather conditions inside. Yeah. Like, where, where do I store things based on how likely is it to rain in this room? Wish Mag is back at his post, is he? Your tongue must be made of silver to have accomplished that feat. And he can't handle the yelling, you see. The gods only know how such a delicate flower survived guard training in the first place. And he's never going to survive duty at the bridge now that work of victory has flooded deliveries coming in and out every bloody day. 
Wish Megan better harden up or start looking for a quieter line of work. None of these are good for me, so I will take my At least I don't think they were. They're going wrong. Hmm, pardon me. The wagons are gone! They're just gone, just like that. Did you realize your love for them was strong? Mm, you miss not, the wagons now that they're gone? Not getting the reference. That's a base hunter song. Now you're gone. Yeah. Okay, I know that. What What is wagon? Yeah, I realized my love for you was strong. and I miss you. Now you're gone. Okay. And it's like, now the wagons are gone. Okay. Yeah, not not all my references are gonna be, uh, you know, Puns. genius level bangers. The dodos and the wild jackals are fighting. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I would bet on the dodos in the kind of. Oh, they're 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 big, big angry dodos. They got poison sap. They can breathe at you. Okay, that that, that does. Uh... That does help. How did this get in here? A shoe in my bedroom. I like Subway, but it always gives me gas. So unpleasant. Yay, character interactions. Or player interactions, rather. No wolf, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm a jackal. The jackal! A dangerous preposition. I mean, proposition. Oh, quest, quest, quest. Yes, quest. <laughs> what you say? Uh, what? Oh no, it's this guy. Hey, Vivito. What you say? Another initiate, eh? Initiate, you say? Getting lots of initiates these days. Lots of initiates. What day you say it was? Now, I reckon this initiate's here looking for work. Is it work you seek, eh? Well, you need not fret, as I just happen to have a task what needs tended. Dear friend of mine, Ross, something or such is holed up in the lighthouse on this side of the grip. Used to be that I'd visit the lad once a senate to see how he was faring, but my legs just ain't the same since the gout got and grabbed hold of him. I'd be grateful if you could check up on candle keeping me, catch up on the candle keeping me stead. Oh, and don't you be forgetting to take long four curved jackal things. Tell him this for Mimi Doa. You'll understand. Four curved jackal things. Yes. How many? Don't get the things from the straight jackals. <laughs> Only the curved jackals. Yes. Curved jackal things. Yeah, it's like that guy who rides around on headless horses. Yep. Oh, I thought he was a horseman. Maybe, I don't know. He, he has the top half of a man and the bottom half of a headless horse. He looks like a normal centaur, but he's, he's different, trust me. Yep, yep. 
I thought he was a horse person. A horse. It's horrible uh, Very dangerous. Hey, if I learned one thing from Family Guy, it's that horses are bad people. I miss what Family Guy just like, stupid, stupid, silly jokes like that. That, that's what I always love. I don't really care for the political humor or the offensive humor. I just want the silly stuff. Whenever you have a quest and you're killing monsters to get things for the quest, you always get, I'm pretty sure literally always get exactly one of the things per monster. When you're trying to kill them to get actual materials from them, you get nothing from most, and then, like, anywhere from two to four on the rare occasion. It's very frustrating. You lose. Good day, sir. You should just keep getting one from each, or, like, have a rare chance of getting more than one, you know? That makes way more sense. Yeah. Like, it uh, could even average out to the same anyway, amount, like... but... Your typical jackal has a whole bunch of teeth. I don't know how many count as fangs, but like, you you should be getting multiple from every one. That would also be nice. That would make more sense. <laughs> and the skin, and the meat, you know, all the stuff. But, you know, every and then RPG, the crafting. Like, no, the, the, most of the jackal just stopped existing when you killed it. The crafting should just require more. Just stare off into the distance next to this guy for a while. And then I'm like, so hey, and he goes, whoa, and falls off the cliff. <laughs> I can get right lonesome up here all alone. Not here. but the winds chill to keep a man company. Some days I carve jackal tracks to help clear my head of the voices. Voices calling me back to the great blue. Buddy! That either means he really wants to go back out on the ship, out to the sea, or he has depression and is considering jumping off the cliff. Yeah, I think it's both. He's going to jump off the cliff and hopefully land on a ship and sail the sea. Yes, there you go. What's this? And, and don't not break his kidding. legs when he lands on the ship. Well, you tell that old man he needn't waste his few last sons in this realm. Oof. Oof. Few last sons in this realm worrying about poor old Rostne. 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 Gesundheit. Rostne. I'll carry on as I always have in the service of the sailors. Alone. Till the day I die. Yeah, he's definitely depressed. He has a quest for me. certainly making him sound depressed. Quest? 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 Dang. Whilst the carvings help clear... Whilst the carvings help keep my head clear, a bit of company would ease the solitude. Truth is, with each turn of the sun, I creep ever closer to the brink of madness. It, that's... Yeah, it's it's like, um... Oh. No, I'm gonna forget what movie it is. Incredible. Where he's Even like... worse than I thought it would be. He's like... Um... Ah, no, no, it, I totally lost it. I, I can hear the voice in my head perfectly. Um, but, yeah, can't grab it. Is it the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No, no. But yeah, so he's just like, I think you ought to know, I'm feeling with, very uh, depressed. With each turn of the sun, I creep ever closer to the brink of madness. The Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan? No. All day and all night, I dream of someone who might rescue me from this prison. Someone broad and hale, with skin the color of the sea. Eyes will suck you in like a maelstrom. Someone like Kim Thoda. James I've P. I've been enchanted Sullivan. by her sweet magic since I first saw her. A young lass from the Morby Dry Docks on patrol of the God's Grip. She smiled at me. Someone like James P. Confident. I was too head up inside by fear to meet her gaze. And now, since her promotion to head watch, she can't be bothered to make the climb. I would tell her how it is I feel. It'd be due to the sailors. Wait! Pardon me. Mm. Excuse me. Might be you could tell her for me. Make it worth your while. 
take her a nice Lenotian lily bed. You think she'd like that? I reckon she'd like that. Ain't met a woman who didn't like flowers. I mean, I don't particularly care for flowers, but okay. Traditions are very important to us, but here in the tiny mountain village of Anatevka. Khan! Khan! Wait, why do I have three quests? Oh, I'm doing two side quests at once. <gasps> How terrible. I have screwed up. I've made one person wait while I help another. Truly despicable. Yes. How, how callous. No, my hands are quite smooth. Oh, I wasn't talking about your hands. Hey, rude. I know I was grabbing a flower, but not you, flower. Completely different kind of flower. Sorry, there's no room for that in your inventory because your inventory is filled with dog residue. Yes. Well then. Oh, yes. I have to bring it back to the dry dock soon. It's actually quite efficient that I grab that side quest at the same time. But I'm not about efficiency. I'm about duty and honor. Helping people as quick as I'm supposed to. Where'd you crawl in from? I don't recall standing for no initiates. Eh? Man and none. Two orangutans fall in love. I once knew a last named Mana back when I served on the Cloud Dancer. She was a bugsome young lass with eyes as bright. Bugsome young lass? With eyes as big and round as ogre pumpkins. He ain't her, though. Those ain't quite right. Hey, who are you again? Ah, I got something to tell me, has you? Rosts, eh? What's that mumbling milk stop whining about this time? Nah, let me guess. He was lonely? Bah! Put a pair of warm women in his arms, another on his lap. You'll be right as rain. That's what I do to help me forget that. What ails me? Not that old Mimi Doan needs much help with forgetting, mind you. Might be that I'll send him up with you Stossy Strumpet this coming eve. Kind of gross, but okay. At least we're trying to help him. Yay! Level 17. Okay, what's next? Bro, hey, that's what I'm doing anyway. A gift for me from the candle keep at Austin's torch? But I don't recall ever meeting anyone. Uh, ah, a Lenotian lily bell. Uh, yes, it's coming back to me now. Rostenze, I believe his name was. I remember specifically commenting on how I despised my patrols through the God script. The area is full of Lenotian lily bells, and the terrible weeds always sending me, send me into sneezing fits. Well, I am uh, flattered. I'm afraid I cannot return the gesture. As head watch of the Morby Dry Ducks, it's my responsibility to see if the peace is kept until the victory's christening. I simply haven't the time to pay would-be suitors any mind, no matter how desperate they may be. Though, perhaps once the ship is complete, I could consider a climb up the peninsula. Perhaps. See, this is exactly the kind of thing that doesn't make any sense if I waited too long to do it. Yeah. Because that ship is, I'm pretty sure, done at some point. Hey, yep. another quest. Quest, quest, quest. Wafufu. Ah, oh, woe is me. I seem to have gone and misplaced four of my packed lunches. Whatever am I to do? I can hear Atburn's belly grumble from all the way over here. I'm certain I made enough for everyone, so it must be that I either dropped a few or gave some to the wrong fellows. Oh, did you hear that? It was Atburn's belly again. He does not look at all pleased, does he? I must stay with my cart, but if you could search the dry docks and see if you cannot find those lunches, I would be eternally grateful. 
I might even whip together something special for- You have saved our uh, lives. Did you see that? That bird just gave me the evil eye. If those lunches don't turn up soon, I'm afraid he'll come over here and eat me. This game has a lot of jokes about eating lollipops. I guess they're prey animals or something, I don't know. They're, they're, they're people. They're just very small people. Is... Okay. The only way to get through here is jumping on things. Sure. Alright. Oh! Ew. It's not down here. It's supposed to be up there. That, that explains it. Okay. Call that good enough? Actually, I should keep this out. Because uh, I can store stuff in it. I don't like in the that there isn't really a practical way to clean suitcases so that when there's a flood and they get all nasty you just kind of have to just have a gross suitcase now ah uh, don't tell me came to collect my lunch i can see it in them accusing eyes of yours sure i knew right well that none of these lunches was meant for me well, today being my day off and all i never thought little wafufu missed just one if I get back the lunch, will you promise you'll not mention that it was I who took it? I don't want the last to think I was trying to swindle her. You know, that's sort of what I was trying to do. I mean, she doesn't have to know that now, does she? Right then. Carry on. <laughs> sure, man. Whatever. I think I remember doing that quest. If he'd caused a problem about it, I definitely would have told her. It's nice when people get along. Made a mind. Well, Foot would be needing yeah. one of her lunches back, you say? Ah, uh, and here I was beginning to think the lass had eyes for me. Not that she's my type, mind you. I like me women a few hands taller, and a few pawns is heavier. And a few shades bluer, if you kept me direct. I wouldn't have minded the extra meal, though. A man can work up quite a craving when he's been pounding, stretching, and shaping sheets of iron all day. I.e., he likes Rogadin. Please tell me you found the lunches. I swear Atburn has shifted several paces closer since you departed. Boiled boar, stewed dodo, steamed cabbage, a slab of stone cheese, and a hunk of day-old bread. Aside from the fact that it's day-old, that sounds fantastic. Everything a hard-working shipwright needs to maintain his or her vigor. One, two, three, four! You did it! You found all the missing lunches. They're all for Atbrim. <laughs> now perhaps I can rest in peace knowing that Atbrim won't be indulging in his cannibalistic fantasies. At least for today. Ew. What, cannibalism? Nailed it! Uh, let's go take care of what counts first. Quest, 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 quest. Bulgogi, oh no, just Yogi. Yogi Honog. I'm looking for a strapping young adventurer, good with her numbers to help tally our remaining supply of planks and logs. But I suppose you'll have to do. Now that work on the victory is near in completion, I need one final count of the lumber we have so I can determine if we'll need more. I already have Raisin Milzen and Rumio Fali Rumio Falami Rimo Falimo. Easy for you to say. Started on the tally, so speak with them and see what they found. Then bring me back the exact number of quarter deck logs and four castle planks remaining on site. Understood? Okay, I think the game tells me how many there are, and I just have to remember. It did not. Well, I don't. Ha I hope I don't have to actually count it. Just finished my count of the cedar masks, and the yardmaster ain't gonna like what I have to tell him. What? You'll tell him for me? Well, be my guest then, last. The victory, being as big as she is, will be outfitted with three full-size masts and two smaller masts. Each mast will have its own set of four to five spars, or cross masts, from which the sails hang. 
One not need be a scholarly from big ship. Yeah, it's very big. Not be a scholarly from Melvin's Gate to know that it's a whole hell's worth of lumber. And so, just how many mass worthy logs did I count here? Four. Not four hundred. Not four score. Not even fourteen. One, two, three, four. You can take that to the odd master, but don't say I didn't warn you. There's a lot of logs. Yeah, I think you need just, more than that. I guess just most of them aren't good for masts. Okay, fine. I'll jump up. Imagine a quest where you have to retrieve 4,000 of an item. How do I... Like, I guess, there? I guess, I guess there's okay. some games against that. You know, they're like, oh, we need you to go mine 4,000 units of Veldspar. But, like, you don't actually have to, like, go get 4,000 individual units. You know, you, you turn on the mining beam and you wait a couple minutes and then there's a, there's 1,000 units in your cargo hold. So, you know, you're really only getting, like, four. Two hundred oak birthing planks. Not one more, not one less. I counted them twice, and I counted them thrice more, just for good measure. You counted them five times? We may be in trouble, though, if them shipwrights need any more than what you see before you. The fires of the calamity claimed most of the trees in old oak wood. What are those that remained, you ask? Why we chopped down the rest to help build the victory? Wait, so do those count? Do we add those to the previous count? Is it two hundred and four now? No, it's two different things. Oh, okay. So it's two hundred and also, also four. Pretty sure you so remember four two numbers. No, you're right. He said two hundred. I would have got that wrong. <laughs> I trust you had enough fingers to help you through the tally. So tell me now, what did you find? Hmm, must be grim numbers indeed. The calamity may be just a fading memory, but it seems we're still far from truly healing. As a salt blood of the mincin, it pains me to say it, but we may have to turn to them tree folk in Gridani if we're to finish the victory off time. Hopefully it you. This seems unhealthy. You should see a doctor. Huh? Salt blooded. Ah, uh, yes. If you got if you got a bunch of salt in your blood, you're you're gonna die. It's a fantasy game. No, I know. I it was an expression. Starting from the assumption that he has a bunch of salt in his blood, how would that be possible? Uh hold he's on, very dialogue. sick. When it comes to riveting, you can search the realm over, but you won't find none better than the Hes... None better than Hesgazel. Hesgazel. Probably just Hesgazel. Ten score rivets a bell, I drive. Why is that if I'm not in the cups? 120 per hour. That's not bad. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Two per minute on average? Eh... Yeah, it's a lot. might not be that fast. But I mean, it's efficient. If he's getting roughly that much done every hour, that's, that's efficient. The key to driving rivets proper like is how hot you can get the buggers. The hotter the rivet, the stronger the bond she'll make with the steel plate. Problem being, was I to heat me rivets in the forge, they'd be cold as dead horse crotch by the time I hauled them back to the victory. That's why I use the white hot cores of lightning strikes. But as you can see, my supplies running a tad low. If it ain't too much trouble, would you be so kind as to fetch me some? You look as if you could take on a whole pack of sprites with one hand tied behind your arse. Honestly? Depends on how big a pack you need, but yeah. I can get my stuff almost fits. It looks like it should fit all the way, but it doesn't anyway. Ah, me too. Got like one wonky corner that sticks out too far. Okay, there. I got it. Wait, in. wonky corner? I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Not that. <laughs> I'm glad you said wonky corner because I don't know how I would have made the joke without having some extra context. Yeah, you were kind of floundering. I'm glad to help. this on top. It'll be fine. Dude, that dude is straight up riding a horse. Like, that looks way more realistically fantasy than basically any other mount I usually see. He's just riding a badass looking horse with this big old spear strap to his back.
jokes do so much spinning. <laughs> Pretty sure I did two full spins, or sorry, three full spins and one half spin. Maybe even four full spins. I guess they think spinning is a good trick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. The Hi. dodos and jackals are ready again. other stuff on the other one. Yeah. Well, you know, ideally, I won't have to move the washing machine again for a while, because ideally it will not be flooding in here again. Dude, if you're not part of the fate, please go away. joke but when it's lagging like that i've been pulling up discord because it's like two times since that update i pull up discord oh, and then minimize it again and the lag goes away oh yeah no uh there's been a lot of complaining about it um from what Maybe discord seen, has a has a leak discord is um it's based on a framework called electron which is more or less a library that lets you put Embed a web browser in your pro like you, you make a program, right? So Discord is still a web, really is a web, a web program. Was specific. Yeah. It's, oh wow. It's secretly just a web browser that could only access Discord. That's bad. Yeah. And Electron makes it trivial to to make program to make web apps into desktop apps, and D Discord started as a web app. But yeah, now that they're like a billion dollar company. <laughs> The, 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 the reasonable expectation should be that they would have made a proper desktop app by now. Yeah, that's that's not. And good. they haven't. And the open source community is ready and willing to have to, to make a bunch of uh, substitute Discord desktop apps, but Discord's terms of service prohibit using alternate clients. There actually are some third-party Discord clients out there, but like you, you're not supposed to use them because Discord will, if they catch you, they'll get mad at you because they want you to use their incredibly shitty app. I've told you before, like it's so bad, I can't play dis, I can't play Minecraft and run Discord at the same time. That's not or at least I good. couldn't in 1.19. In 1.20, it seems stable enough, but like, yeah. Memory leak. That's the word I was looking for. It probably, I haven't noticed its memory growing a lot over time, but I, I mean, it does I mean use specifically far more right than now. It should for a program that does what it does. I mean specifically right now, because that's the only explanation I can think of for why it would be getting worse, and then the moment well, I pull up the program and minimize leaks. it again, going away. Yeah, I suppose. Although usually. 
usually programs that have a memory leak problem uh, don't don't get better so easily just from minimizing. I mean, yeah. But this one, you is usually have to yeah. actually close it. But like when you installed updates, Discord had to close and relaunch. So that yeah, what's what I'm saying is, memory. after the updates, there have been two times that I started lagging. Yeah, pulled up Discord and then minimized it again, and the lag went away. Yeah. So I don't know. No idea. Three cores, and it's, I can be done with the day's um, work and back at the old house where I belong. These white hot cores are sometimes used by blacksmiths and armorers as a source of heat when driving rivets into metal plate. Leviathan Zai, you really done gone and fetched me the blinking cores. That firm will be right pleased to see that he will. It was the foreman who came up with the idea to use cores to heat the rivets. Clever one, that man. Sharper than a fang in a fishback's beak. Probably why he made sheep so quick, like. Doop. Uh, hang on. That is the same. That is worse. Lag is usually Money. not a memory leak problem, though. I mean, for sure. Like memory leaks don't normally cause issues with download or upload speed. I, I know what you they are. They don't really do much at all. They might slow down the program itself in question, and, and eventually your RAM will get full. And then everything on your computer is going to run like shit. Yeah. What can old Swashsint do for you? But yeah, if you're having intermittent lag, it's... If it is Discord, it's some other problem that Discord has. Hunting down jolly merchant slavers. Ah, well, that explains a few things. I was keeping an eye on the bustle about the dry docks, you see, when I spied an odd trio off in the distance. This rough-looking sod, one of your pirates, I'd wager was prodding along behind another bloke and this poor skinny lass. I've seen whipped curs less miserable than those two being herded. Last I saw, they were headed south. If what you're saying about this slavery business is true, then that jolly merchant's not going to walk his charges all the way to a market. No, he likely has a boat waiting for him. And if I were a slaver headed south, my vessel would be hidden somewhere along the salt strip. It doesn't leave you much time. You said Jackie was on his way, yes? You best go on ahead. I'll point him in the right direction when he gets here. There's this huge, nasty, dead spider on my floor. But it's not. It's actually just a wad of hair. Huh. So I took your second. I'm, I'm gonna sleep, but like, I keep keeping like, oh, a big, nasty, dead butt. Oh, wait, no, that's just hair. See, this is why I should dye my hair, because if it was like blue. And I know it's not a big dead bug. Those don't come in blue. You're not a big dead bug. That's good to know. I am feeling a little blue, though. Zabadi. Yep. Oh, hey. I gotta kill some crabs. Although, even that guy at least had a blue girlfriend. I'm forever alone. And he had a house? Like, I don't, I don't know what he was so blue about. He, he had a maid. He had a blue house, a blue car, blue girlfriend. I mean, it was a while ago. A lot of blue stuff, admittedly, but like, come on. I love it. He's like, you don't have much time. And I'm like, okay, but I gotta kill a few crabs first. Things ever want to roll straight? Oh, like that's diagonally. A... Oh my goodness, that was a lot of back pop. Okay, push it, push it forward, and it's like, no, I don't want to go forward. I want to go forward, but a little to the <sighs> side. Went the wrong way. All right, we're gonna pick up some speed. Excuse me. I see you side quest, but I got something more important to do. Me. Oh no, I got Who tired and can't run anymore. Oh. 
air in the corner. Wow, it's a lot of floor space. Luckily, I'll have to fight these people. I'm not used to seeing this much of my floor. Hey, maybe now I can finally uh, play VR games. Splash them came through for us, eh? What do we got here? This one looks like a charmer. Sodden move, I told you. Peg legged grandma hobbles quicker than you, you miserable sacks of shite. Or maybe you need a th another thrashing, is that it? You already forgot what happens when you try me generous patience. I'm sorry, please, no more beatings. We walked as fast as we could, but we need food, water. And get in the boat and shut your traps. Get fed when we reach the other side. The other side? Where are you taking us? Are you challenge me or just plain daft? Told you to keep your bleating mouth shut. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. The Biathan scare the arse. She's weeping again. Not a good boy. Listen, we're at a day out for it, all right? That's where me and my shipmates gather to take stock of the merchandise and decide what gets sold where. You see, some buyers want only lads, while others is looking for lasses. As long as we keep these rich bastards happy, we make more coin than we ever did scrapping with the Empire's war galleys. Not that you care about that, I suppose. What matters to you is that you'll be loaded on the Jolly Merchantmen, sailed off to God knows where, and then still be a distant memory. So, if I were you, I'd fill that empty belly with one last big gob full of sweet Lenotian sea breeze. <laughs> I'm so tempted to put a blade fixed his eyes here and now, but that won't get the job done. No, we'll let him guide us to his mates in Elport, then we'll mill the whole bloody land. Jolly merchants will get there, do. Don't you worry about that. You think I should store these batteries in the laundry room? I'll tell you when dialogue's done. They've oh. gone. Oh. We best hurry to Elport. Must be quicker way. There's a ferry what leaves from Candle Keep Quay. I'll meet you across the water, lass. I mean, I gotta get better about that saying when it starts and ends, but don't worry. Okay, dialogue done for now. Yeah, there have been some times when you've just started talking and have been like, Fate. oh, I, I guess someone's talking. Fate. Ah, it's the big Mandragora! While little is known about Mandragoras, what is known tends to be quite disturbing. Such is the case with the Mandragora Prince, who was rumored to journey to the sites of slaughter so it might feed off the blood soaked loam. Probably best to not let it feed off the blood soaked loam. Uh, not rope, not rope. Hard to rip. Nice. Time to have stumped my toe on a sword. Get your sword. I <laughs> don't understand. It's torture. I think this thing hates me. Oh, it's caused me nothing but problems the whole time I've owned it. Same toe, too. Twice. It's like biting your teeth multiple times. The same exact object. I've been biting my lip multiple times. Oh, yeah, no, with canker sword, see, that makes sense. Because your, your, your teeth just, they move back and forth in the same spot all Well, day. it's worse than that because somehow I ended up with like a, there's a term for it, but it's like a, um, whatever, it's, 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 a, it's a swelling inside the yeah. lip, and um, yeah, it's like what happens if a canker sore causes a, a tiny infection inside. Abscess? Maybe, I don't know. Cyst? Pimple? It's like yeah. a cyst. But there's a term yeah, for I it get, when it's I in get, your lip like I that. I get those all the time. 
Uh, There's some misinformation flying around that those are the same as cold sores and they're caused by herpes simplex virus. Not true. And I literally had a doctor prescribe me antiviral medication for them once. No, so it... <sighs> So if it's open on the surface, yeah, that's a canker sore, or as you put it, a... And if it's on the outside, particularly right. if it's got yellow goo coming out of it, it's more likely a cold sore. A canker sore occurs on the inside and is usually just painful. And this is neither of those. Hmm. This is yeah, a, a swelling of like pus or something inside the lip. Like inside your lip. Inside the flesh. Almost like if you got a really oh, bad oh. Uh, zit on your face that hasn't made it to the surface yet. It's like that. Yeah, it's some kind of infection. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's not not infection. It's just something that can happen if you get um, uh, some some like irritation or whatever in there. I don't know how exactly because I don't think yeah. I had a canker sore there, but it, it's it's something that can happen. I probably bit it at it's some point. It's not usually my lips. I get I get angular chelitis a lot, often from shaving. Um, in any Which case, is, um, it's, it's when the corner of your lip gets all messed up. Ah, uh, yes. In any case, it, um, it got, or it, uh, is supposed to go on away on its own and it's already getting smaller, but man, it makes it way yeah. easier to bite my lip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Canker sores are the same. They swell up so that they get bitten about a bunch. I zoom in. Excuse no, me, adventurer. My, my, Might my I have a moment of your time? My swollen up and occupy my whole apartment. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to say dialogue. Might I have a moment of your time? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Azumin, field assessor for Melvin's Gate. My work with the Custom House involves the investigation of claims made regarding the unlawful import of restricted items from foreign shores. Recently, there have been a number of petitions made by the residents of Candlekeep Quay concerning a species not native to Vilbrin. If this species is indeed alien to the island, it must be located and destroyed immediately before it is allowed to reproduce and possibly disturb the natural balance found here among the area's fauna. I would ask that you take this lump of fetid dodo flesh and place it upon one of the mounds of soil thought to be the nests of the invasive species. The odor should draw forth whatever creatures lurk beneath, leaving them easy targets. I mean, do you know what the species is? Do you have reason to believe that it will disturb the fauna here? Xenomorphs. It's always xenomorphs. Until proven otherwise. Do xenomorphs live in mounds in the, flat, in the dirt? Yes. And then they bust out, and then they sing Hello, My Baby. And they drink fetid dodo flesh. Drink? Hmm. I guess maybe. Make, make a little fetid dodo flesh smoothie. Oh, wait, Yo. hang on. That has a funny description. So gross. With a decent wind, the stench of rotting dodo meat can carry from mobs, attracting all manner of creatures. It's a, it's a middling! Although it's a Thabnarian middling, not a Redonian one. My best guess is because I wear headphones all day and it's like it, it gets humid and moist. This person helped me out with these creatures and then ran away before they realized that a bigger one spawned. Aww. Cool. Got it. I guess, yeah, using. Using the built-in storage areas really does clear a lot of space. Like I, I could fit a whole other, whole other table in here. Not gonna though, because I'm probably oh. gonna move out soon. Fate. Okay, I will take care of this fate before I turn in the quest. You wanna... What's going on here? Oh, thank the twelve you came along when you did, and Selman Fib. Fiebris are at each other's throats again. It's that damned ale wench. Both fancy the lass, and neither is willing to stand aside so the other may have her. While those two stand right in front of them, right right in front of us, just listening to him say this. Though truth be told, the wench despises I don't tell both, that Gomez. and only humors them because it's her job to do so. 
Those two are good lads, when not in their cups, but I feel that their lust for the girl will end in one of them dead. I've already tried calming them with words, but to no avail. This leaves us but, but one. <clears throat> this leaves us. This leaves us with but one solution. Steal. Beat the violence out of these two. Excuse you. Oh, level sync. There we go. Hey, the same person's helping out. Oops, I forgot to place him. Hey, dude, you gotta turn your, uh, you gotta turn your stance on. Oh, he has his stance on. I'm just out DPSing him. That's funny. Eight done. Dialogue. Avnerian mites. We've collected eggs from cargo carried on ships hailing from Razahan before, but always in Limsa Laminsa. There are no records of ships traveling to or from the tiny island nation making stops here in Candlekeep Quay. Why would they ever need to? Avner is not an island nation. What are you talking about? Unless the mites did not come from a ship that laid anchor here, but from a different vessel, one with more heinous motives. I believe this will require further investigation. Thank you again for your assistance. Perhaps I may require your services again in the near future. Level up. Dialogue done. Am I muted? No. Hey, I can take this boat straight to Aleport. Hell yeah. Respond to someone. out there but yeah no I can make it let's go <laughs> the name of the fate is I just died in six arms tonight Dad was asking if he could call about my car that is being fixed, but uh, I'll let him know that I'm streaming right now. I told him if it's like really important, um, I can just put the stream on hold. Uh, this fight is annoying because there are 
vultures hanging around that I have to keep from noticing me. Don't, don't notice me. Alright, now go to the edge of the fate space. I don't think anyone will notice me here. Good. Especially when one adds this far. But hey, it's good practice. No, but uh, hey, hey, person passing by, can you help? That would be great. No. That, uh, that fate name reminded me of the video about the uh, um, the, the two Full Metal Alchemist guys fighting. And they both have really long names. Yes. It's rather convoluted why I have the connection between those two, but I had to go back and download it just for safekeeping. There's a... The, the Catalepsis web novel has a part where there's a... There's a character with... Um, with what's it called? Uh, dissociative identity? Multiple... Okay. Whatever they call it now? Sorry. It used to be called a disorder. I know they've changed it. And uh, somebody made a meme where it's like, Ah, oh, yes! My name is also Jugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugamajugam
No, apparently, apparently the format for that joke came from a old legend where there was a, uh, a couple and they had, they came up with a list of like 20 names they wanted to name their son, but they couldn't figure out which was the best one. So they went to their local shrine to ask the local god what to name their son. And the local god instructed them to just name him all of those names. At least that's how I remember it. Like this, so the kid just got the longest name in history. That reminds me, I should probably also download the Spider-Man version. Why does nobody mix those, you know? Like, I need to know your real name, Spider-Man. Ah yes, my name is also. I guess I could do that myself. I, I know how to clip things together. Uh, how many O's are in the word long? One, otherwise it's long. It's, it's uh, like, um, it's, it's more than zero. <laughs> find anything getting like random spider-man videos that are popular Again. I have watched a lot of Spider-Man YouTube in my life. Dale Dima Doug's Madome with Dale Dome. That's basically yeah. the same joke. Yeah. That's what I'm finding while I'm, I'm trying to go through old videos and figure it out. successfully completed and another class leveled up to 17. Well, sure. Last one left there's is there's any real videos in the search results. YouTube's just trying to be TikTok. Anna, that jolly merchant code is still with his captives. Seems they've taken a room under an, an alias. <laughs> Hiding their operation in plain sight. Bold as brass, aye. It's an old slaver's trick. See, even if some cull recognizes the merchandise, only a single hand or gets boned. The rest of the crew just whistled, whistles, all innocent-like, while their mate is marched off to cry cockles. 
And you can bet they've threatened bloody murder for any prison what prisoner what raises a hue and cry. Patience now, lass. We'll just wait until we're sure that all these blackguards have arrived. Meanwhile, you better sharpen your stabbers. We have a busy night ahead of us. Alright. It's event time. That ought to be long enough. We'll just have to hope there ain't any stragglers. Listen closely now, lass. Merchants are disguised as plain old venturers and have settled themselves in three separate rooms here in Elport. How do we whittle down which coves are the merchants? Easy. Take a look at the daddles of that bingo swilling cull over yonder. He's wearing lavender gloves. The exact same type with that nasty salt of the salt strand hat on. That'll be how they find each other in a crowd. Of course, it's also how I whittled where each of the bastards will stay. If you snitch the hopeless gazes of the company they keep, you can be sure you find your mark. So here's the job all laid out for you. You hit all three common rooms, kill the merchants quick and dirty-like, and get those captives their bleeding lives back, all right? Aye, the storeroom door's been forced open. Some thieving sod's been at the ale. It was him. Well, they can't have gotten far. Better get the lads and do a sweep of the port. Mm. Pardon me. Ah, oh, was that merchant cove? Was, was that merchant cove gulping Pilf Pilferdale? You'd think they'd be doing their best not to draw attention to themselves, all things considered. Bloody oafs! Now we got a swarm of yellow jackets buzzing about looking for blood. If they spot us wandering around in the darkness. I have a feeling they'll ask first and ask questions later. It'd be, be it'd be best then if the patrols never even knew we was here. We'll slip as sneaky as we can into each of the common rooms and use them telltale lavender gloves to identify our marks. There's innocent calls in there as well, mind you, so let's try not to stab as any, any as don't deserve it, eh? Hmm, I'm thinking we should head out one at a time to better avoid the yellow jackets, so I'll let you take the lead. After you, Mana. YouTube broke their website, so now the only way I can save videos to a playlist is through the mobile app. Oh, it's not in here. Where am I supposed to be going? It's apparent, apparent, as far as I can glean, like, your saved playlists are now stored in a cross-site cookie. So you need Google to access your cookies for YouTube on your computer in order to edit playlists on your YouTube account. Yes. No lavender gloves in here. Not up there. All right, now, ladies, what's cooler than being cool? Oops. All right, 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 all right
there was one room down here. Where are the rest of them supposed to be? They're not in here. Oh, yeah, the Techno are. Union is at your disposal, Chancellor. <laughs> I'm getting distracted by all the other things on the playlist. Okay, I get that those other people are probably also prisoners. Why are the uh, adventurers not reacting to this? Well, I didn't know Quentin Tarantino was in the Avengers. I also did not know that. Or, you know, at least if this clickbait title is to be believed. Which I guess they are occasionally. I don't know, somebody shared one today where it's like, uh, what is this? It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. Yeah, not in here. I, I want to accurately, okay, okay, here, here we are, here we are, okay. NASA just discovered a planet that defies all logic. Huh. And the thumbnail is Neil deGrasse Tyson looking confused. Here is the proof in capital letters. And then an artist's rendering of the flat Earth. So I'm like, yeah, that would defy all logic if they found a flat planet. The the making thumbnails look a certain way issue uh, to get your videos to show up at all has become so bad oh. that everybody is doing it now as far as i can tell a lot of yeah. youtubers straight up hire somebody to make their thumbnails because they know yeah, how to make the right kind of thumbnail um you need a person's face usually a person's yep. face reacting in some significant way yep. you need uh bold letters it doesn't have to be capital but you need bold letters um yep. and you Needs something that looks interesting behind all of it. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Well, okay, I, I did miss one of them. Yeah. I feel dumb about that. And, I and know you know, when I, I see videos like that with thumbnails like that and titles like that, I don't click them because I know they're shit. No, no, they're not anymore. That's the issue. Even good YouTubers. Oh no, I know. That, that that, yeah, I agree. It's frustrating. Like there, now you have no choice. Every video has to look like exactly. a shit video. Exactly. It's obnoxious. Because it feels like I'm clicking. Saying, like, I know click I'm not videos. contributing to this trend because I don't click videos when they look like that, and thus I'm sadly missing a lot of good videos because they're disguised as bad videos. What up, Jack? Back into the shadows, Lass. Mm -hmm. Are we done, or are we going? Hands off the merchandise! Ain't no one cuts into our profit! Nope. Got two more to kill. The adventurers here are just cheering us on, not, not interacting at all. Just in case the player felt like they had had enough fun in this quest, they're like, okay, here's a bunch of other pieces for you to kill. Yeah, that always works. I jumped mid spin. That was awesome. Where are my pliers? Why are they always disappearing? Dialogue. In a second, I guess. Not a bad night work. No, yeah, not a bad night work, eh, Mana? The Maelstrom will be taking care of them poor culls we freed, and I've made sure none of the merchants we downed elect to get up again. As for the jolly merchantmen, well, the crew can expect a visit from the Admiral's finest galleys. It won't be for tea and crumpets on the poop deck. Right, Minadalas, mm -hmm. my part in this is done. Time to head back to the sisters. Uh, excuse me, are you oh, the ones who freed us? It is called the poop deck. That is why I pooped there. 
Aye. Is there something else we could do for you, miss? Maelstrom Swords will take you home if that's what you're worried about. Oh, no, I know. I just wanted to thank you for killing some people. No, but seriously, for saving her. <laughs> if I may, there was one other thing I wished to tell you. Moments before you rescued me, that dreadful pirate was muttering into his cups. It was something about another raiding party that hadn't made it back yet. Bring I beg your pardon. Party. It seems they've been hunting for slaves in Western Lenosha. Being so close to Aleport, their captors assumed they were out rounding up chattel until the last bell. Sorry, that was supposed to be in quotes. Rounded up chattel until the last bell. And I just couldn't bear the thought of anyone else suffering as I have. Please, is there not you can do? Ah, uh, there certainly is, miss. You just get yourself safely home and leave this stray pack of jackals to us. I will pray for your success. Thank you again. Heh, <laughs> so much for saving a victory pint. I'll send word of this development to Underfoot to Stray. Do some well-earned trade for the last of these jolly merchants. By the by, how's your throwing arm, Meta? I think it's time I learned you how to fling a proper blade. When you're out in the wild, when you're out in the wide open, when you're out in the wide open yeah. roughmans, you often find the need to sting a cove from a distance. And I'm sure a candy lass like yourself will figure out all sorts of uses for a well-thrown dagger. Just keep it in mind for when we I hunt down the rest of them. Candy ass. No. I learned how to throw things. Yay. This is also level 15. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's just another level 15 one. Cool, guess I'm not done yet. I'm putting that on I think ship one. One, ship one, ship one. Yep. Dialogue. Those last few jolly merchant bastards must be camped out somewhere in western Minosha. Now, if I was a black blooded guild groven slaver, where would I be hiding? It was not, not to the west, but the Sahagan pools. Even those bollocks for brains pirates know better than trespass on fishback territory. And they won't want a chance running into patrols near the airport. That just leaves us east. Lock? Ah, uh, they'll likely be nestled down in the ruins out there amongst the dodos. That's where we'll try to pick up their trail. You head on over and s s snilch? Snilch the place while I send word to the sisters of the Maelstrom. That seems like not a word. I mean, a variety of things he says are not real words. Just road talk. Fate time. Uh, Arcan. Yay. Putting doorknobs back. Couldn't find my pliers a minute ago. It was like David Copperfield got in. Just, you know, pliers here, pliers gone. It just chills you to the bone, it does. Say it for the millionth time, the thumb movies are a treasure.
there were gerblins that made them run away. Oh, that's true. I do actually have a button. True. I should use that one. Oh. Gotta do this fate before continuing the quest. 71%. Somebody working on it? That would be nice. Yeah! Awesome. Well, I helped. Another event. Thank you for freeing us. We've been tied up here since those awful pirates snatched us from our beds. Those are some interesting looking dodos you got there, Mana. No sign of the merchants, though, eh? That leader mentioned heading over to Aleport. Is that something about there being no signal? It was a signal something was wrong. And that was a signal something was wrong. They just left us here hobbled like lambs for the market. One of them japed about keeping the meat unsullied in case there was trouble. Pray, let us flee the, the place before they return. And just who are you to sidle in and set loose our odd one prizes, hmm? Okay, much smaller than I expected, but that's fine was the damnedest thing. We'd have a crew lodge in the airport, and not a one of them survived the night. Don't even buy a couple of sneaky curves what favored the short blades, they say. I'm supposing that was you two. Seems you have a bone to pick with our choice of trade. Aye, I can't say as of much use for slavers, except as a place to bury me knives. Oh, and I wouldn't bother yourself to wait on your ship to come back neither. Jolly merchants are done for. <laughs> you might have the right of it, lad. But then you wouldn't know the kind of coin three healthy slaves like them will bring us. I'll have a new ship and a new crew before a single moon is passed. You hear that, chattel? You're each worth a shining bloody fortune. You've me to thank for helping you learn your true worth. Ignore this bleeding sod. In fact, why don't you step back a ways? These coves are about to learn the consequences of breaking the code. And the discussion is like to get messy. Did you not think we come for you? You can try to stifle your victim's screams in the darkness. Shadows are always listening. Fight! a lot more people. They have dodo, trained dodos apparently. Back 
telling me to keep my distance, but nah. I'm fast and I have good healing potions. And it's a skill that heals me from, based on damage I do. I'm good. Hard to pick out their leader. There's one hit. Oh, one hit. Don't worry, Jack. I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice. The other rogue showed up. Helps one. Good. I was finally about to get knocked down. Thank you. I shudder to think what horrid fate awaited us had you not helped us to escape. I knew someone would come. You're just like the heroes in the stories. They always arrive at the perfect time and triumph over the villains. Do you think I could be a hero like you? I know I could be brave and strong, too. I just know it. Nah, you don't want to be like me, lad. Listen now, me and those coves there, they're the ones that what the scary folk are afraid of. And that's because we keep the rules for the world they live in. We don't much care if you shirk your chores or get into fights. If you ever break the code and betray your mates, that's when we'll come after you. No matter how far you run or how well you hide. That makes me want to be like you more! <laughs> live your life like the hero you want to be, though. You'll never need worry about that. Scaring the shit out of this poor kid. Hey, you two can stubble it and all. Hey. Oh, it's the lady who doesn't like us. I assume you are the citizens who were abducted by the Jolly Merchants? I am Captain Miala of the Yellow Jackets. Maelstrom Command has entrusted me with conducting you to safety. It's all right, lad. This folk will take care of you. Go on, you best not get left behind. <laughs> Is there all else, Captain? Word on a new job? A job? From me? For you? How patently absurd! I'd rather hire a sewer rat to mine my, mine my, mind my larder. Was it during one of your jobs that you turned Aleport into a slaughterhouse? What dark age is this that we must employ assassins to enforce the law? It's, is it, it is this continued dalliance with underworld miscreants such as you that prevents Limsa Laminsa from ever fully expunging the stain of pirate, piratical infection. Look at these weapons you bear. A civilized person uses such implements to carve meat or peel fruit and leaves them at the table where they belong. Do you perhaps clench them twixt your teeth as you swing over rails like the pirates you hunt? Our fair city has no place for those who refuse to abandon the brutish ways of the past. The only champions of justice this nation requires are the valiant and forthright soldiers of the Yellow Jackets. Jackie... What the bloody hells does this co want with us? I've not the foggiest idea, love. Just smile and all. I've not come here to be patronized. I've come to put a decisive end to piracy in all its forms. Consider this visit a gauntlet thrown at the collective feet of the Rogues Guild. Heed my words. 
Just before dawn this very morn, a maelstrom vessel stocked with provisions was boarded and looted by pirates. Much of the cargo was stolen, and that is vexing indeed. But it is the theft of three items in particular, three unique treasures of nigh incalculable worth, that most distresses my martial colleagues. As for the brigands, they made well their escape, disappearing into the dawn's mist along with their precious plunder. A uh, rum tale. What's it to do with us? I challenge you. A contest to reclaim these stolen treasures. Should my yellow jackets and I succeed in retrieving the greater share, I shall formally propose the abolition of the Rogues Guild. Upon review of our achievements, the Admiral will surely concede that your unscrupulous institution has outlived its usefulness. Now blow it out your waddle. I've better ways to spend my time. Oh, do you now? This incident constitutes a theft against the nation of Limsa Laminsa. Does that not violate your beloved code? If I'm not mistaken, you've no choice but to rise to the occasion. Unless, of course, you mean to slink back into your hollow and abandon the fundamental precepts of your duty. All right, all right, you screeching shrew. You made your bloody point. You'll be sorry that you did, I promise you that. Your paltry promises amount to naught in the face of my conviction. I shall not rest until Limsa Laminsa is free of every last buccaneer, scoundrel, and shadow-dwelling ne'er-do-well. Lucky we're not any of those. Luckily. What now, Jackie? For right now, head back to the sisters. The sisters of the... Or the dutiful sisters of the Edelweiss. Alright. Uh, to Elport, I guess. Oh. Getting lag again. There we go. This is, this is one of the easiest ways of removing lag I've ever had. Even if it's frustrating it's happening at all. Dialogue is done for a while. You still there? Uh-oh. Yeah, I was muted. Ah. Limsa Limsa, please. We last that la that Nalala's got some bollocks. It seems she's well done with all. For we last that Malala's got some bollocks, and it seems she's well done with all what whiffs of pirate stock. Hmm. I don't take kindly to calls pulling me strings, but sure is right. The code's been broken, and we have a job to do. From the sounds of it, though, them coves knew what they were about when they cloyed them treasures. I need you at your best. It's time you learn the art of mugging. Buff up a call in just the right way, and he'll give up more than what you get if you just plain knocked him on his arse. Me and the lads will be busy whittling the story on the bit and bobble, so you're free to head out and sharpen your skill. Might even be as you'll pocket some extra blunt while you're at it, eh? Plus three, plus four, plus five? Plus five? It is. The board. Mug. Not very useful in my opinion. Alright, 
on to Arknest. It's raining, and I hate it. Ah. I, uh, I didn't really... So I've, I've been sending a lot of job applications lately. Mm -hmm. So I haven't had time to go into it like an in-depth review of every company and what their project is. I just, I look at the qualifications, I'm like, is that close enough? What I, and you know... And, and do, do I have reasonable doubt that I would rather be unemployed than work there? Right. If no, apply. Uh, because that, that's where I am right now. Um, yeah, uh, apparently one of them, uh, and I'm going to have to leave in a bit because I'm supposed to join them for a Discord playtest at 1030. But, oh, wow. um, yeah, uh, you know that idea I had for a Dragon MOBA? No, but that's okay. apparently what they're building. Nice. I'm like, there's a small chance that they stole my idea, but like I wasn't attached to it, and if I get to help them with it, no harm done. Um, but it, it pro probably someone else just had the same idea, or or it's it it looks there's not a lot of data on their website, so it might just look like what I was I'm imagining it is, but really be something else. But yeah, they're, uh, they, uh, they're apparently they're making a MOBA called Tournament of Tamers, and it's about dragons. So, that's cool. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Mm. Dialogue. You seem tired now. Are you sleeping properly? One reason, one's reasoning can suffer without sufficient rest and recuperation. Should you deem yourself fit for duty, pray make your way down to the practice floor, or Seer Kalia has requested you accompany her on another official ins inspection. There is, however, a requirement for your participation, before Seer will explain the situation. This is, I believe, when I get another color of carbuncle. Yay! On the other hand, uh, a Dreadnought was taken down for lack of players, so now there's an opening for that in the MOBA space. kind of sad because like the game was was rough because it was like early access you know they hadn't polished everything yet um but i loved the concept you know where it's like hey it's a moba but you're not fighting as like wizards and knights and stuff you're you're fighting as giant hovering battleships I was beginning to think I'd miscalcul miscalculated mana thank you for coming I will soon be boarding a trading vessel suspected of smuggling all merchant ships that make use of Limsa Lamensa's ports are subject to inspection by Melvin's Gate assessors. It's a routine I perform daily. In the case of smugglers, however, there is a 75% probability of encountering resistance. Thus, I would appreciate your company during this assignment. It is now that we must discuss the requirement of which you were informed. Though I have full confidence in your martial expertise, it is imperative that you first acquire the ability to summon Topaz Carbuncle. Such knowledge will be released to you contingent on your acceptance of this duty. Yes. Very good. The arcane entity given form by the Topaz Geometry will further expand your offensive capabilities. With such an ally at your command, even the harshest of enemies will falter before you. Indeed, we could not conduct these dangerous spot inspections without its support. Please return to Mistress, Mistress Thubergeim and inform her of your participation. I will join you once I've completed some final adjustments to my tactical form. This is such a I'm not too worried. Resistance, after all, is futile. Is, is useless. I mean, I am not a reaper. So, so fun, fun fact. Resistance is useless. Predates resistance is futile. I mean, uh, I don't if know I'm if it was mistaken, in the book like, of Hitchhiker's Guide, but in in the book, yeah, it was it was in the book which okay. I believe was written before the phrase resistance of is futile appeared in Star Trek The Next Generation. I'm 
cringe. Not long before, but just a bit. Which is very <laughs> ironic that it was parodying something from the future. You have agreed to accompany the Forsir, then I shall gladly instruct you in the use of Topaz Carbuncle. Pray do not hesitate to employ this entity in combat should the inspection turn sour. <sighs> Apparently she uh, teaches me by daring it. Summon Topaz. As Tim would say, you know, in lieu of him being here to say that, um, capacitance on the other hand, that has potential. Yes. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Is Tim excited to be here like half hour ago? All right, that's the best I got so far. stomach is not happy. The mercenaries Geisfrin and Erstoda are here to assist with the inspection. Both are old hands when it comes to escorting Kalia during her more dangerous duties. Well met, Mana. The spells are at your disposal. This won't be the first time we're expecting trouble, but as long as we follow the Forsier's tactics and keep a clear head, we'll come through just fine. The Morning Star is preparing to dock in Aleport. We will meet our first challenge, however, before we even board the vessel. It is almost a certainty that the merchant ship has hired a thug or two to accost us at the pier. I calculate the probability at 98%. The crew wish to avoid attacking us on the deck, you see, as that would all but trumpet their criminal intentions to the world at large. Now, once we do manage to clear the rails, we will face a deck crowded with armed sailors. For a small party such as ours, the most effective strategy will be to incapacitate individual foes as swiftly as possible. Each opponent we down is one less weapon raised against us. It is imperative that we do not allow ourselves to become tangled in multiple drawn-out skirmishes lest we be overwhelmed. I call this Stratagem Hammerful. Strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into the desired reality. Keep those words in mind, Mana. It is time we departed. Let us regroup before the main gates of Aleport. Oh, there's another KSP2 update. So the, Wait, the game, uh, I can't go at, at, a, at a very slow pace, has been getting less bad, um, which is good to see. Uh, and I'm finding there is one way in which it is mechanically superior to KSP1, which, you know, that's one more than it had before. KSP1 is still better in every other way, but there's one way I've found, which is propulsive landings are way easier in KSP2. Repulsive landing. That's like when you try to do it Falcon 9 style and land the rocket back on the launch pad. Yeah, because in, uh, in KSP1, they're... Whew, they're horrible. I've, I've, that's that's why my, my usual strategy was just strap about a hundred parachutes to the side of the rocket and parachute it down. Oh, I hit level 17. Hell yeah. Every class at level 17, including the hand and land ones. Fuck yeah. But, uh, parachutes are a lot less powerful in KSP2, so I was not able to use them to the same effectiveness, so I had to, so I tried propulsive landing. I was like, oh, this is way easier than it used to be. Is it way easier than it ought to be in real life? Well, of course. It's, you know, it's a game. I mean, it's comparatively. Be fun. Um, well, okay. Uh, easier than it is in real life or easier than it should be in real life? Because it should be easy in real life, of course. But, no, it's extremely hard in real life. That's why nobody does it. The only times it's been done, it's computer controlled because it's it's kind of it's one of those things that sort of strains humans' ability to reliably do the thing in yeah. terms of like reaction time and judging distance to the ground and acceleration and balance and all that. It's too much. Like I'm sure talented humans who got really practiced at it could do it. 
But real space programs are about, like, reliability, not showing off skill. Right. Let us Maybe be about our task, future, Mana. like, when everybody... Sorry, dialogue. Let us be about our task. Mana, pray inform the steersman at the pier that we are ready to conduct our inspection. Should violence be offered, you are to execute stratagem hammerfall. Do not forget, your tactics are both your shield and your weapon. Oh, fates. Gotta take care of fates first. So definitely done with dialogue for a while. Wait, which fate is ending sooner? This one is ending sooner. Uh, I am switching back to Gladiator. Maybe in the far future, you know, there'll come a time when everybody's got, like, personal spaceships, you know, like, like yachts or even, like, cars. And and then there'll probably be a bunch of people trying to manually do propulsive landings, but who knows? You know, by, by then, uh, people might actually refer to AIs because old-fashioned humans have gone extinct. So, no telling, really. very apprehensive about the future. Like, I, I used to be such an optimist for the future. I'd be like, oh, you know, it'll get better. All this cool stuff's gonna happen. But it feels like one by one, all the things that gave me hope for the future are turning out to be lies and delusions. And... All the scary stuff is uh, is still there. It's probably a bit rough for screen. I wasn't gonna elaborate beyond that. You and I have discussed it before, anyway. You know. Yep. Sad. All right, come up here, buds. So your friends stop attacking. I don't think anyone's watching anyway. Okay. That's not the point. Also, theoretically, eventually, I will turn clips of this into a video. Oh, well, really. you know, then you're under no obligation to clip when I say really depressing stuff. Unless, you want, you want that to be our, our channel niche, you know, is we're the channel that says really depressing things in clips. I'm sure nobody else does that. Hello. I'm here. I'm fighting. Who just joined? I'm here too. Oh. Hello. Hi, Cam. Hi. Sorry. Made it. When I had to tell your mode. jokes for you because you weren't here. I had you jokes. You did tell a few puns. A few puns. Yeah. Um. About capacitance. Ah. Yeah. One of the one of the characters mentioned resistance, and I'm like, resistance is futile. But then you weren't here for the second part. It's good to know I've inducted you to the cause. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Yes. I, I don't think I would have done that. I did have a level of reluctance before. But now I like to think I conduct myself better. If you're conducting yourself, I think something has gone very well. Well, I just don't want to be an impedance to anything. The, no. the, the reactance of others might be uh, negative. You should wait yeah, until Mana Nun gets. That, you know, follow my lead, as it were. You should wait until Mana gets to the uh, binding coils of Bahamut. The jokes will basically write themselves. <laughs> no, no, it's done. Uh, every class is uh, level seventeen. Nice. I mean, or higher. Not only are plenty of others significantly higher, but we are uh, well aware that Fisher is much higher. <laughs> 
gonna take care of this other fate, but I'm gonna help this guy first. Are the are the winding coils like is that part of the adventure gonna be short or are you gonna charge yeah, in? No. Well, we should uh we should still keep our expectations grounded. Everyone thinks they've got jokes, and then a giant dragon comes over and steps on you. Oh no. How am I going to do the binding for us, do you think? At least there's no such thing as an invisible dragon, right? Doing them stink, even normal, is still really hard, right? That's why there aren't savage versions. Uh... I wouldn't say it's really hard, especially if you've got a crew that already knows the fight except for you, but they're not easy, I'll certainly say that. Hmm. I'll figure it out. They're easier than Endsinger. I'll, easier than Endsinger Extreme, I'll say that much. Well, that's good. Even the, even the last two bosses. Honestly, the hardest one is probably boss 8 out of 13. Which one is that? Uh, Nail Von Darnus. I think that's what I meant. Yeah, Nail's a pain. What's the one after that? I don't remember. Although I did assume the last fight was the hardest. The last fight is, unsurprisingly, Bahamut, and it's... It's got a few unique mechanics, but once you've learned all of the other fights, there shouldn't be many surprises. It's got so many mechanics. Yeah. So Probably the hardest part is when Tanya shows up again. And it requires multiple people working together correctly. Well, yeah, most raids do that. I don't know. I can solo. At level 90, I can solo Alexandra and Synced pretty well. I don't know, maybe not the last. That's mostly because you're out DPSing the um, mechanics that you have to care about. Yeah, no, that's what I meant. Is that level 90 doing coils, there's like one or two that it's just impossible. Yeah. It is possible to solo nail. I've done it before. It's so much easier with two or three people. Okay, with all this talk of, of, of coils and solo nailing, I'm starting to think that we're in the wrong category of jokes. <laughs> On that note, I need eggplant. Hmm? I need eggplant. 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 I hate eggplant. Like literally, <laughs> it's my it's it's my least favorite food. The only time I ever oh. like eggplant is if it's cooked in a way that makes it not taste like eggplant. Yeah, I don't like. Maybe I had just never had it right, but I I, I was fed eggplant one time as a child, and was traumatized by how bad it was. Okay, you should try it again, because there are many things that I disliked as a child that I've grown to like eventually. Not grown to like, but yeah, that I just liked eventually. It's like okay. fish, you know, I've I've had fish that I actually enjoyed. I just, for the longest time, it, I overwhelmingly was fed fish that I hated. Dialogue time. Eggplant is easy to screw up if you miss one important step. Mm. Dialogue. You've got to salt it and then okay. let it sit for a while to cure a little bit. And that'll suck out all the bitterness, or most of it anyway. Mm. If you don't do that first, it's gonna suck. Uh, Tim, I'm clarifying when there's dialogue. Just saying. What was that? I'm clarifying when there's dialogue. Shut up. Okay. You're with the folks from Melvin's Gate? I. Ah, oh, hells, I knew there'd be trouble. Okay. 
Okay, done with dialogue for the moment. There might be some right after short, this fight, yeah. but... Let's see, what do we got here? I'm Dialogue back. Senior, 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 lead. Well then, senior. I'm certainly glad to see you can handle yourself. You'll find the landing boat just down there at the end of this ramp. I'll have no part of what comes next, though. Here's one. Do, 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 do. Event! I have no idea if there will be dialogue at the start of the event, but then it'll just be a lot of fighting. Ugh. On site work required in Orlando. Deftly handled, Mano. Once again, I am reminded of our Guildmaster. Thanks to your efficient response, we'll be able to commence this inspection earlier than I had calculated. We shall board the merchant vessel out in the bay. There's Thoda, if you would take the rudder, the Morning Star awaits. Boat! Why Be is there boat. no sound? Okay, there. Don't know music. Like it should be doing the ominous event music. So when you uh, when you browse websites for things like like materials and textures for 3D artwork and games, a lot of times by default they will show you what the material looks like applied to a sphere, so that you can see how it is and you know all the different angles of light. One second. Which works fine when it's like rocks and it, it kind of is okay when it's bricks or wood but <laughs> um this one is a uh, sliced pork does not look good on a sphere <laughs> since their welcoming party at the pier failed to deter us pier failed to deter us i expect with a probability of 85 percent that our arrival will incite further belligerence our objective however is not to trade blows but to gain access to the hold it may behoove us to employ stratagem hardhead. The aim of our opponents is to buy time so the suspect goods may be tossed into the ocean. I do not intend to give them that time. We will pull our way towards the cargo hold as quickly as we can. It's a tactic fraught with risk, but one that your presence makes possible. Shall we begin? Points forward where the boat is already heading. That's better than pointing a different direction. And then they shoot us with a cannon before we get there. I mean, I know this is a merchant vessel, but they gotta have some weapons, right? Although, apparently, they don't have cannons. Even if they did, they probably don't have chaser cannons. Are you sure it's a merchant vessel? Yeah, it's supposed to look like one at least. Ships recently. I am Forseer Kalia. By the authority of Melvin's Gate, I request that you surrender your goods for assessment. Well, now, your timing couldn't be worse, last. The old door's all rusted up, you see. The bloody thing won't open. You'll have to come back another day after we fix the hinges. I will see that cargo now. Any vessel entering a port of Limsa Laminsa is bound by law to submit to a routine inspection. The law is it, lads. Or the law is it, lads. I reckon it's time our guests add himself a little accident. Pitch him over the side. It's spell time. Okay, fight time. Throw the book at him. Yep. Both literally and figuratively, since we're, you know, doing an inspection. Ah! 
Axe or Ray, you know how you were talking about sludge generators? Yeah. There might be an alternative explanation. Have you heard of Sora? No. How does how's that spelled? Uh, S O R A, same as the um, Kingdom Hearts character. That is, but it's a okay. new that, that generative not model. Really tone, but, yeah. uh, openai.com, this is probably it. Yeah. It generates wow. video from prompts. Um, yeah, the job description I've been seeing is kind of the opposite of that. But I don't know, maybe, maybe they want to. Maybe they want to replicate something like Sora by getting a bunch of video to feed into its training set. It just, it seems weird that they specifically want screenshots of AAA video games. And that they want it to run on iOS. Like that's, it's a very specific project I've seen in three otherwise seemingly unrelated job postings like they, they're apparently going through a bunch of uh third-party um agencies to collect candidates it could also be dlss it could be but why would you want i, I don't see how you would get dlss running on an ios device by training it with data from games that don't run on iOS. Like, the, the way DLSS normally works is you train it with game A, and then you play game A. Yeah. But Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't run on iOS. Well, that might just be an example. You don't know for sure that's what they'll assign you. Well, no, but they actually listed it in the job description. Like that, that there, there were a couple names I recognized, but that's the one I remember. Um, Quite done. Dialogue time. Yeah. Um, masterful display, Mana. Now we can finally gain access to their cargo. Oh! Someone threw a book. Oh no, she dropped her book. What? I don't know what this voice is. Whatever we hear that, it's one of the bitch admiral's lapdogs scampering about his ship. Ah. Uh, yeah, just like your mistress. Always sticking your nose in where it ain't invited. No, it can't be. Ah, recognized me pretty face, did ya? But you, you were caught, exiled. Corsair, are you hurt? Can you stand? S stay back! You stay away from me! Corsair, please, calm down. What are your orders? I had enough of your whimpering. And I certainly had enough of these bloody books. It's clear you ain't learning anything from them. No, that's her super old book. Reckon it's time you got a different kind of lesson. And then she screams at the guy not going to try and leave. She has a panic attack. Kalia! Nafa can preserve us. She's fainted. We must withdraw. Mana, quickly, back to the boat. We'll carry the force here. I actually forget which voice is which there, but whatever. Ah, that's right. Just slink on back to your mistress, you worthless curs. <laughs> you did a One Piece laugh. We'll take care of Kalia. You best return to the Arcanist's Guild and report to Mistress Thubrajan. Alright, dialogue done for a bit. So, uh, Tim, the, my computer slash game has been doing the weirdest thing. Um, mm -hmm. It'll start to lag, like just a, just a tiny bit jumpy. I will pull up Discord and then minimize it again, and the game will run fine. That's it. Tab over to Discord, minimize it again. That's weird. Very weird.
Aw, this person's name is so eepy. Thank you, Kathy. Ah, oh, they're doing the road quest I just did. That's awesome. And this other person's name is Itty Bitty. Let me guess. Potato? Yeah, th they were both potatoes. And I just realized Itty Bitty is even a pretty good name for a Lollafell. Yeah. It would need to be like Itty La Bitty or something like that, but... I've made my way through at least three level 15 class quests today. Hopefully I'll make my way through the entire four. Probably. I've done three in three hours, so it seems, seems like I'd be able to get a fourth done. It's good to see you well, Meta. Geisfrin sent word ahead of your travail. Yes, travails. An unfortunate turn of events, but considering the infamous Blackheart you faced, you might have fa you might have fared much worse. Have you heard of the pirate Dolzmaga? He was exiled from Limsa some years ago. It appears he has chosen to defy the Admiral's orders. And once more, he dares lay a hand on Forsier Kalia. The poor lass must have been terrified. If I had known Dolzmaga was aboard that ship, I never would have signed her that duty. The assessor may require some time to recover. For Kalia, that man is a nightmare made flesh. Though her physical wounds will soon end, there is little we can do to salve the hurt to her mind. You are concerned? Angry, mayhap? Harness that energy, and channel it into your training. I predict we shall be needing your skills again before long. Plus 23? Oh, because it's getting rid of my hood as well. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want one that's two parts. 3, 5, 1, 3, 2, 3. Gloves it is. Hmm. What, you eat? what that means is I'll probably be crafting that head and body cowl anyway, but whatever. For now, I don't have to get it. Mm. Hey, it's the blue book! Yeah. Book I'm not using. Knives I'm not using. X I'm not using. Isn't that All the right. website where they sell cars? Blue book? Yeah. I think so. Um, well, they sell cars, but yeah, it's a car website. They they give info on how good cars are and, and like the history of Kelly. Them. Guess what? Kelly's blue book. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know why it's not Kelly's green book, though, because like the color. What class am I doing next? Uh, what do you have left? I've only done Limsa Biology. Liminsa. So I have... What was that? I've only done Limsa Liminsa, so I have Gladiator, Lancer, Pugilist, Thaumaturge, Archer, and Conjurer. Uh, I say Gladiator. Get Limsa out of the way. Uh, that's Marauder. I'm done with Limsa. Me, I'm brain good. I still say Gladiator. <laughs> okay. Tough Thanalyn. So I went looking for the event. Do you know the problem with that? I was I was all prepared to have to grind MGP on mana a ton this week. You know the problem? Arbomisium. You can't do fashion report yet? You have to be level 50 for the event. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's a problem. Yep. That's not going to happen. The person for the event isn't even there. It is very sad. Is the event up now? Yeah. Oh. You can Might get the car. Oh, wait. You already have it. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a fun event. 
I have not done it on my other character yet. You should absolutely do it on your other character. I assume Zoe oh, has yeah. I plan to. plenty of MGP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got like, I don't know, some millions. I think like I gotta three million this screenshot. So I'm on the search page, right? I've typed in Sora. Result number one is OpenAI's website. Result number two is the educational reading app by Overdrive Education on Google Play, a audiobook player, I guess, for students. And in the box is the Wikipedia article for Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Nice. Like just, <laughs> the results are just all over the place. <laughs> I'm amused that they, like, they all ranked so close together as to all show up in the first three results. Is the, um, Moogle event still going? Yeah, that's going through March. Good. March 11th, I think. What? I'm going to look at it real quick. What items do you think I should make sure to get from the Moogle during the Moogle event? Honestly, I don't think any of them are particular must-haves. Like, I'm grabbing mounts I don't have. The uh, we, we already talked about the, the neckerchief. That's very missable. Um, yeah, the rest is just kind of meh, in my opinion. Bomb Palanquin, Goriath, Rose Lanner, Legendary Kamui. What's the legendary Kamui? What are the Kamuis? Wolves? Pretty sure, yeah. Elders? Okay, um... I can definitely get one of the... mounts. If I actually spend some time doing, you know, sitting in the gold saucer, playing some triple triad, and doing a couple fishing boats. Um, hopefully getting level 8, uh, hopefully getting the, was it 80k or whatever? Probably not, but um, 8,000? 8k? Whatever. Anyway, uh, I can probably get more than one thing, but what mount should I at the very least get? Although I kind of do want the Titania Barding. So that might be what I go for first. Yeah, the Barding I got. The Barding is pretty good. Um, let's see. Something happened. Every, everything got quiet all of a sudden. Uh, we're both researching something. Um. So, it falls to me to fill the silence. Uh, there's no way you don't already have the bomb palanquin. On mana? I don't. Oh, um. Yeah, I'm talking about mana. In that I think... case, I assume you're still going to do the Beast Tribes. Oh, probably, yeah. Um, I think... So that's I think the probably a waste of... Yeah, um... Which would be cooler, the Rose Lantern or the Kamui? Ooh, that's what this one is. Definitely the Kamui. Okay, all right, all right. That'll be the primary... That Kamui has, for. like, green fire coming from it. It's awesome. Yeah. And then the Rose Lantern is probably what I'll do after that. But that, I'll probably go for the Titania Bargain first. So. 
I'd say for you... Probably the Titania Barding and the Legendary Kamui. When I was a young boy, my father took me to Circuit City for tapes of Spider-Man. Are you just making this up? That's as far as I got. <laughs> Trying to fill the silence. The silence filled themselves pretty well. The only reason I'm not getting the Titania barding is because I can you know, go solo Titania a couple times and get it myself. On Zoe, I already made it. <laughs> All right, dialogue. Hail, mana. Come at a good time. I have another task I wish to assign you. The Immortal Flames and the Brass Blades have both requested the guild's assistance in maintaining security at Camp Drybo, a vital outpost along the Royal Elegant Stunfight. The Amalja have been raiding caravans with reckless abandon, creating a significant disruption of trade. Uldah has a long troubled history with the Amalja, but the raids are not unheard of. However, this recent escalation must be addressed. Go to Camp Drybo and search for these raiders, mana. I've already dispatched other gladiators to patrol the region, so I suggest you speak with one for more information. By the way, every other level 15 class quest will be completely new to me. He said, son, when you grow up, you never will own a house, even if it seems like you can. Okay, Eastern Thanalin. Uh... Because you're, uh... Millennial, millennial. Do you guess? I don't know. I'll come up with the rest of the words later. The chocobo can take me to Camp Drybo. Because I've been there. Talk to the chocobo yeah. there. But Camp Drybo? Almost certainly. Okay. I know it can go from Camp Drybo all the way back to Uldah. So. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. At the very least, I bet it can go to, I mean, it can definitely go to uh, uh, Blackbrush Station, and I bet the one from Blackbrush Station can go to Camp Drago. And though you're miserable, you'll never afford therapy, which doesn't rhyme. Chocobo Porter to Camp Drago. There we go. Although I will probably have to get off part way or or very very quickly it is unlikely i will make it the whole way without seeing the bait uh i ah, yeah no i count it went on my mini map it's all the way around the path so i have to go around it oh. but it's the um whatever the rabbit things are called You know what I'm talking about? We got pink. The Spriggans? Yeah, the big Spriggan. The biggin. Ah, the biggin. I did say that. Yep. Is a good name for it. Oh, good. Another one. Um, oh, someone is maybe working on that one? And that one has less time. Let's go get that one first. Look, I'm not frustrated about having to help people out, but, uh, Sometimes it, it delays actually getting through story. Oh, oh, need a snack first. Gulp. Hey, I need to kill some of these guys anyway. This is the annoying one where I have to take the turn away. Although, if it's getting progress, I guess someone's already fighting. Is it? Yeah, I'll come in there and help. All right, I think I need to go. I have my thing starting. Too. Okay. Bye. See you. Okay. Yay! Wait, okay.
flying away on their cat. And another fade. Yeah, that one is really frustrating because it's so hard to get the actual boss of the fight away from the rest of them from not being swarmed by a ton. Hey, I needed to kill some of these guys too. Alright. Altogether rather uh, useful. Spit fire. Very good man. Right. It's very dusty out here right now. Dust storm weather and heading into night. That seems like a very bad time to be out and about. Storm's coming, Annie. Better get home quick. Do you think it would be cool or bad if the game had weather sometimes that was actually like really bad? Like maybe even damaging, but at the very least, you know, hard to interact with. Person's name is Mar Eo. First name Mar, last name Io. Boss time. Not gonna help. Not very cool, dude, of you. All right, do the room down again. Oh, wait. Level 18. Okay, so for now, Conjurer. Um. 
Um, yeah, I can get on another chocobo at least. Ah, uh, no. This one will only take you to old off. Unfortunate. Person who just ran by was being chased by a giant ant. Did you ever watch Honey I Shrunk the Kids? Nope. That was a no? It kinda. Correct, that's a no. It kinda clipped a little bit. Oh boy, big frog. Have I mentioned that um Doing a large boss face as Conjurer is easier than as Thaumaturge. Ugh, rude! Because when I get low health, I just send the boss to sleep and heal myself. Yeah, checks out. Oh no, I only have a minute. Oh, this is not going to go well. Okay, I'm going to switch to Marauder in an attempt to... Oops, not going to make my HUD go away. Yeah, this is not happening. No, no. Come on. Yeah, absolutely not going to happen. Oh well. I'll get through as much as I can. down to half. Damn. Oh well. Back to Kotcher. Down and can't go the right. No. Yeah, I'll go down blue. Heh. My cat is snoring. Your cat is smelly? Snoring. Uh, it's almost good to do this quest, but I don't have every class at 18 yet. Uh, that one's 15, though. Never mind. Come to grieve, miss. Have you lost someone dear? Uh, I see. Simply another fair adventurer come to our office. Well, in that case, I have an adventure for you. Let's say you make the plains to the east and carve me up five cuts of sirloin from some mild tragus nose. Pretending a wounded man at the inn who is close to death, we would like nothing more than to give him a feast of nice juicy mild tragus sirloins for what might well be his last meal. Once you have the sirloins, take them directly to Sister Zozoru at the inn. Pardon me. My stomach is not behaving tonight.
Do you ever get to a point where random monsters cannot be put to sleep? I don't know. I've never really tried killing significant numbers of random monsters with a class that can put things to sleep. Like, like, face or whatever? Again, I haven't tried. Okay. So that's what I meant, is have you not done it? Yeah. Fate monsters or whatever. I, I guess your emphasis was more on the putting them to sleep part. Oh, see? Lag. Discord. Minimize Discord. And there we go. You know what? Maybe it's my Windows notification system causing the lag. And so it notifies me when I have a message, and pulling up Discord clears the notification. Even if I'm not, like, looking at the actual message, Windows goes, oh, okay. Good thing. Or maybe Discord's just being needy. These Algo skins are needed for the next uh, uh, round of crafting, so this is somewhat useful. It might be the one after that, though, which makes them slightly less useful, but oh well. There you go. Five slabs of magic broiled myotragus servings. <laughs> Actually, I guess it's more like magic tenderized given that I'm using rocks for it. Tenderized and air fried. I am doing my first custom deliveries in approximately forever because I need gatherer script. Yeah, I haven't done that long time either. What business brings you? Myotragus Sterloins? Ah, I take it to Deucius, sent you. Thank you for your efforts, my friend. But I fear you're too late. The man for whom these stakes were meant succumbed to his wounds just moments ago. Well, I have Rays, if you... <laughs> Pray, do not despair. He feasts with all now. All has seen the good in you this day. Okay, but but I have rays and healing spells. I, fine. Yeah, those are both level eighteen as well. Dead, Izzy. Ah, you did a good thing, friend. No use spreading over the order in which things pass. Matters is that they do pass. Nothing that passes go on, goes unseen by the gods. There's a graveyard just near Drybill. A lot of folk bring their dead and dying this far. Many just dump them here to spare themselves the trouble and cost of the burial. This poor soul at least had family that rushed to his side. Count him lucky for that. It's just his time to heed Thal's call. Best to let it go and move on. There's business what needs doing. Plots, graves, embalming, tombstones. Nothing in life is free, not even death. And this one is... That is a very... old uh, line. Yeah. Yeah, nothing is free, not even death. We work to earn the right to work. 
Back for more, are you? Good. Now, riddle me this. In camps such as ours, so close to the graveyard, what do you think sells faster than we can stop? Ah, flowers. To the east of here lies the remains of an enormous guru. So many plants sprout around it that you would think you'd found the black shroud in the middle of Thanwood. Wait, so two different quests ask you to go to this thing? Some say the Gubu came down from the mountains at the time of the Calamity and carried with him the seeds that became all those plants. But then, all I'm really after is three sprigs of Althic Lavender. Seems simple enough, right? At least I'm pretty sure I'm aware of at least one other that takes you to this dead Gubu. Fate first. I believe this is one I've never done. Anyone who has been to Drybone can easily see how the place earned its name. It is an unforgiving place, arid and dry beyond compare. But little water can be found in the area is so prized, men have been known to trade gold just for a set. This is why the few springs must be protected from those who would foul them. Slugs. Yeah, these are going to be good. Oh, okay. do that. Come on. Slide casting! Ah, oh, dang it! Probably did it that time, so Did you listen to that song I posted? Uh, which one? The one from Outer Wild that I uh, was referencing just now with the rework to earn the right to work. No, I thought you were referencing the um... the one from Warframe. Uh, you mean that 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 line isn't in that one? Because you're talking about uh. Uh, what's the name of it? I don't remember how that one goes well enough. But it's the one where all the robots are hitting, are, are mining and building the track and everything. Yep. No, I, I really do recommend the one most of it. Um, Uh, I'll look up the name later. Approximately 20 minutes.
it's a very good song, not necessarily happy. <laughs> it, uh, if late stage capitalism makes it to space and gets even worse of it. Oh, honestly, did you not read the company policy that defines you as company property? That last one? Yeah! Hey! Conjurer level 18, and stone just became stone 2. Heck yeah. I also got swift cast. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to use that. Oh, for rays. That's when I'm going to use that. <laughs> uh, which means I am switching to... Pugilist. Wait, what quest is that for? Oh, that's the guild that's one. Got it. Well, I will. I'll stop by there in a bit, guy. But I gotta help this person get flowers first. That level, uh, that quest is level twenty-four. I will not be doing that one. You're familiar with this Google course, right? Familiar with what? This Google corpse. In, um, uh, Eastern Thanalan. Oh, it doesn't ring a bell. You should look at the stream. It's so cool. Oh, that one, yeah. All right, dude, I will try to make it back to pick up your quest at some point. I'm sure I'll see it as I'm passing by. But not only do I have a fate to deal with right now, uh, one side quest at a time. I already broke that rule once today. Oh, no, only a minute left. Or two minutes left. I mean. Oh, but somebody else is doing it already. Heck yeah. Oh no, it's just the actual soldiers doing it well enough. Wolf, get out of here! But still, they've managed to make enough progress that I might actually finish it. Fine. I have something more important to attend to right now. Ended, but uh, yeah, I, I'm not exactly gaining much from the fact. Like, I don't even think I stinked for that thing. No, not fight you, bud. Faster, just go this way.
I might not actually end up using all of my uh, rest XP, but it's too bad. Well, Mana, have you found my pretty posies? They're, they're lavender, not posies. Ah, gorgeous. Well done, well done. I know that I know what's in that rotting I know not what's in that rotting Google carcass, but it makes for the loveliest damn flowers I've ever laid eyes on. When it comes to offerings, they say the rarer the flower, the happier the dead. Malphic lavender is nothing if not rare. I'll be saving these to turn into turn a pretty profit when the next burial is held at the lich yard. Level 18! Twin sh twin snakes. In raptor form. Grants Disciplined Fist. Interesting. So it's an alternate. Ooh. Glad Spring is ending soon. My, uh... saying my stomach is not happy. Um, that seems to be no joke. Which is weird because I've definitely eaten today. I've eaten, I don't know, maybe not quite enough, but enough that this seems weird. Let Get down! They're still here! Oh, maybe this was a bit, uh, emergent. Oops. Gladiator. Ah, oh, don't worry, sister. I'll be fine. But maybe not when the first sword is done with me, eh? Go and tell her that Amalja are dead. The merchant to me. Uh, did Pugilist make it to eighteen? Yes. The answer it is. Lancer, have helmet on or not have helmet on? How do you feel? Uh, I almost always keep helmet turned off. Personal preference. Yeah, there are some that I keep it on. Like Gladiator and Marauder, I definitely keep it on for. Um, well, it depends on how dumb it looks. <laughs> really, it just depends on how it looks and... and what class it is. So like, if the best hat for Rogue is a helmet, yeah, there's no way I'm keeping that visible. I'm catching a cold. What's that? I think I'm catching a cold. That's unfortunate. I think your mic is doing that thing where it's not catching the like first half second of your what you're saying. Or Discord is doing that, whatever, either way. Uh, I'm also talking a little more quietly than I should. That's possible. Well, I'm sorry you're catching a cold, that uh, sucks. <laughs> I am fairly certain I have never had COVID, um, and uh, um, Tamara's wife has uh, 
recently had a rather weak form, but of COVID for the third time. Honestly, if she's had COVID that often and you've been interacting with her for the last few years, you've probably had COVID without knowing it. Mm, you say that. There was one time that maybe I had it, but I have been testing basically every time there's something similar because uh, Amra is a teacher. Or that is a notable concern. I certainly never got it the first big bout where it was uh, particularly nasty. Honestly, I think at this point it's barely worth keeping track of COVID as a discrete respiratory disease anymore. I mean, it's a discrete flu disease. Like it's it's not even the flu. The flu is worse at this point. Yeah, but I don't know. It has more in common with the common cold now than anything else. In another decade or so, it will probably be indistinguishable from the common cold, except through um, you know, testing. Especially considering the common cold is already different than... Yeah, the common cold is at least, event. like, six different diseases. Well, some of which are rhinovirus, or, some of which are coronaviruses. It's all... isn't it all still influenza? Just different no. strains? Influenza is a different kind of, um, disease. The common cold is at least sometimes influenza. I'm almost positive about that. You can look it up, but... I'm pretty sure. But I might... Dialogue. I knew I was right to send you mana. You've done us proud. Seven hells, this place reeks of sweat. How do you expect a man to concentrate on his sword play like this? Aldous? You remember me. How goes it, brother? Still waving your sword around like a feather duster? You? You? Good to see you too, my little my dear. You're more beautiful than I remember. You're alive? Where have you been all these years? Answer me. Me? Well, if you must know, I'm on a spiritual journey of self-discovery. Damn it, Aldous, this is serious. We all thought you were dead. For you to walk in here as though nothing ever happened? Have you forgotten how you dishonored us? I should cut you down where you stand. Ho ho ho! That's the mile I remember. All fire and brimstone. I knew that pretty face could still contort itself into some terrifying shapes. Ah, don't pout, girl. I'm just having fun. But, as you wish, I'll go. Mana, was it? Why don't you join me at the quicksand? I could use some company. I doubt anyone else here would be so kind. Oh, I don't even get to talk to her? Well, she should say something. That bastard. Why now, after all these years? Nope, still no info. I was expecting her to be like, go talk to him if you want, but... Don't trust him, or something like that. You know? <laughs> Although, okay. her, her saying, the way you dishonored us, is the first time there has been any implication that he has done anything except disappear. So the flu is caused by influenza viruses, which is a discrete family of viruses. I'm dumb. The None flu is which... influenza. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. The moment you now, said that, I'm like, is... oh, wait. No, that's it. 
<laughs> there is a um, a species called, or not a species, a family called para influenza that does cause the cold. Oh, interesting. But uh, it's not influenza. Apparently, this is not just dialogue. This is an event. So, also, I'm oh, guessing okay. this is the last thing I will be doing for that. Oh, you came! Sorry you had to witness that little reunion between me and Milo. The Sword of Nald, back from the dead. You'd think I'd be greeted by the throngs of adoring fans, not threats of violence. Listen, Mana, you're good with a sword, that's plain to see. More than that, you've got purpose. There's a fire burning within you. As a former man of conviction, you can recognize a kindred spirit. Sword is so pretty. Aside for the, you know, pixels that are very visible. <laughs> Geralt named her Frenzy. It's one of a magnificent pair of swords that the drunken prodigy forged for Coliseum champions. The man who will is this this is the first time I've heard of Geralt. I do believe this is the first time I've heard of Geralt. That's fun. The man who wielded her twin had eyes that burned like yours. Mana, I... What the hell's... Oh, jeez. Aldous, Sword of Nald, you come for your head. If you do that, then how... Then how the hells am I supposed to enjoy my ale? Arrogant fool, prepare to meet your maker. Well, ain't you a bunch of impatient, humorless fellas. Up for a bit of fun, Mana. I'll lead, you follow. I mean, you could be a horrible, killing criminal for all I know. Sure, I'll follow. Mostly because the game is telling me to. He's provoking more than I am, or because provoking doesn't work on this guys. Oh, no, it does. Unfortunately, I can only do one at a time. Eh, he jumped up on the railing. That looks like a very fun uh, character choice, even though I know it's just because of having Did Aldous just kill me? I think he did.
Didn't think he'd go so far as to send a gang of cell swords into quicksand in broad daylight. Why is it never a bevy of beauties? <clears throat> Let's continue this another time, shall we? To find a new place to drink. One with more attractive company than this sorry lot. Wow, rude. I know he wasn't directly referring to me, but he did imply that I'm not much more attractive at the very least. Alright, uh... Oh, report to Milo. Cool. I'll, I'll do that first. Yep, lag again. What shall we do? Discord, minimize, and we're good. So bizarre. There was a, a side quest earlier today that, um, I don't remember exactly why. It, oh, it was, uh, um, it had to do with finishing the Enterprise, or uh, whatever they call it, the, the really big ship at the dry docks in Limsa, um, or in Lenosha. Uh, it had to do with finishing that, uh, and they were like, you know, blah, 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 before we finish it up. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it does get finished eventually, so definitely makes more sense to be doing this side quest now. My apologies, Mana. I meant to teach you a new technique earlier, but when that idiot arrived, I completely forgot. It's just so... infuriating. <clears throat> the shield lob technique will allow you to attack from afar without the need for ranged weaponry. Since we gladiators are primarily close-range fighters, the ability to draw the attention of distant enemies is a valuable asset. May it serve you well in the field, man. Teach you how to boomerang your shield. 3 3, 1 1, 3 3, 7 7. Didn't I? Hang on. I don't think I put on my current best gear. There we go. Eighteen eight suddenly? Oh. I guess the others were... Well, whatever. Getting a new pair of tank gauntlets is definitely better, so... It told me the, the put on best gear auto thing told me to put on the magic gloves I just got earlier. Very weird. Shield blob. Um, I guess I'll put provoke up there. That's odd, but sure. Yeah, that's all to do for now. All right, head into the quicksand to go. In fact, you know, I, I don't even bother with the quicksand. I'll just call it here. All right, cool. Another successful week of getting class quests done and uh i will see you next week or sunday if you come by for more guardians of the galaxy thanks for hanging out tim yep, no now let's see if i can get streamlabs to stop glitching tough to shut down the stream, but can't do that.
That'll shut it down.